All right. Uh, it's time for a temperature check. It's been long awaited, long talked about. Where are we at collecting wise? Where are we all at? I just, uh, I'm going to wait for the last for you. <laughs> um, I ordered two quarter scale. Oh, hello. 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 Yes, yeah, this one. No. I think. Uh, this is this working? Yeah. Yeah. That's I working. Can't hear myself. You, can't, um, you can't hear yourself at all? It's really low. So as long as you can hear me fine, it's fine. Because, like, usually. Yeah. I mean, it's a little low. Let me find out where you're at here. Let's try that. Hello. Hi. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Good. There good, we good. go. All right. Are we starting over? Nah, fuck nah, it. Fuck only, only, we're, fuck it, we're, we're doing, doing live. live. Only the best here at Nerd Rage. <laughs> so, uh, I ordered two quarter steel statue in the last two weeks. So, Okay, so... Because it's something that I want dropped. Right, 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 right. I understand. And these are Final Fantasy? No, no, because you got the Play Arts Final Fantasy too. So you, oh, I so ordered... So you got I, more going on. Yes, yes. Yeah, I have... I, well... Is it what I have on pre-order or what I bought recently? Or and what's your, just what do you think general? your focus is? Like, where, where's your I have every intentions? single Final Fantasy VII Remake Play Arts Kai pre-ordered or owned. Okay. When things have two versions, I'm getting both versions. Right. Um, I have a Claymore statue pre-ordered, okay. um, diorama, uh, six, seven scale? I, oh, no, fifth scale? Something like that. And also, I ordered... Kerrigan from StarCraft Two, okay, uh, a third party, uh, fifth scale, okay, no, third scale, so, so, uh, something big. <laughs> Nancy, Nancy Kerrigan, Nancy. <laughs> dude. What if there's it's a Tanya just, Harding? It's just her skate. <laughs> Tanya Harding with the with, with the, the broken heel. Yeah, <laughs> it's the heart of the swarm, bro. Swarm I like queen. that movie though. That uh, that Tanya Harding movie. Did you ever see it? <laughs> I've never watched it. No. Dude, it was good. Is that the one with uh, Harley Quinn in it? Yeah, 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 yeah. She did a great job. That's a yeah. I I know that story, but I've never yeah. watched the movie. I mean, I love to because I like I watched. The, yeah, you know, figure skating. I like watching figure skating. I still watch figure skating. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, it's gymnastics you, on ice, bro. Since you don't have kids, you get to do all sorts of wacky things. Yeah, yeah. is it wacky? I thought people love figure skating. I think they do. Figure uh, skating is amazing. Yeah, I, I used it. I, I just I, I listen. I appreciate their athleticism. Sure. Sure. Same I mean, have, you, have you watched it? It's like pro wrestling on ice. I, what, I love Blades of Fury. That's a it's, great movie. We're going to skate to one song and one no, song no. only. <laughs> it is a great movie. And I love it also. It's one of those things where, like, if it's on, I can sit down and watch and, and appreciate it, especially, you know, the, the, short, the short little dresses and all that. You know what I mean? I'm just being honest. Um, but I would never turn it on, never in a million years. And if there was an opportunity to watch something else, I would. Mm. But it's like, uh, I, yesterday I ended up watching. If I'm strapped to a chair, my eyes are <laughs> taped open. I mean, pretty much. I mean, yesterday I ended up watching, um, hurdles. I guess pr- as Olympics preparation time is going on. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, that sounds like some sort of like struggle movie a rapper made. <laughs> <laughs> hurdles by DJ Easy <laughs> Hammers. Um, DJ Easy Hammers. <laughs> That's just what that's just what came to mind. Um, and like you know, I could sit there and watch it and appreciate it. And I was like, man, look how fast it's... and this this. Uh, but that's the same for pretty much any sports for you, though, correct, right? Correct, correct. Well, but I would never turn it on. I would never want to watch it left to my own accord. I would just right. I would just turn it off. Well, you can watch the highlights of any sports, and it's amazing. It, it's good. It's entertaining, and like of any sports. But like watching an entire game, I would not do. Because most of it is boring to me, mm. um, but there are certain things that are short bursts, like figure skating, where the entire thing is a highlight. I, I could understand what you're saying. I, I'm really just there's filler in that too. Though. I mean, I like the you know, when they're getting ready for the next trip, like for the, you know what I mean. When they got like a they got like a little sequence of tricks, mm-hmm. and then they do a couple laps to mm. get, get themselves together <laughs> again, and then they do a couple more tricks, and and I do kind of feel like that shit is hard. <sighs> okay, look, man, I'm sure that it's hard. I'm sure that it's difficult. I'm sure it takes a tremendous amount of strength and everything else. But I used to have this argument with with Laura a lot. And I choose not to because, like, she likes it and appreciates it. So she wins. I get it. But, you know, Laura was in modern dance for most of her life, right? Mm. She was a modern dancer. What exactly does that mean? It's, like, very – it's, like, uh, it's set to music. Um, but the music can be kind of abstract and non-formulaic. The movement – Like jazz. No, not like jazz. Um, like world music, you know, like like it, like it's not necessarily something that's set to like a, a four four beat. Mm. You know what I mean? Which is most of American music now. So there's no drill music. No, unfortunately like, not. Like new age music. <sighs> See, it, it it could be set to classical. It could be to oh. new age. It could be to like meditation sounding music. It could be to anything. Oh, it's a versatile dance that you can cor- use to do anything. Correct. That's kind of what I was thinking. It was kind of a. 
It's modern. But it's very abstract. Like, it is very, like, you know, the movements aren't necessarily what you would consider to be dance movements. The, I guess it would be like... Is the, it like interpretive dance? It was like, the, yes. It's flu- yes. Oh, it's more about the fluidity of the movement, right? Yes, and the, transitions and the expression between? of it. So I would say that, like, when it was created, it was probably the edgy alternative to baller- to ballet. Mm, you gotcha. know, but but now it just seems like, well, you can watch Turk videos. <laughs> you know, like, True. What, what am I fucking around with this for? Um, anyway, uh, but you know, when we watch ballet, like, or you know, not that it's common, but my wife is a big fan of dance as an art, so she watches that sort of stuff if left to her own. By sometimes I walk into a room, she's watching it, mm. and I'd be like, look, I once again, I understand that this is impressive, and I understand that the the the, the kind of physical training and stuff it takes to do this. I appreciate all those things. However, can we also say these are the same fucking moves that we just saw in the other ballet two weeks ago, set to different music? <laughs> You know, it's this, it's the leg up bit, it's the, you know what I mean, it's the same shit, which is fine and cool if you appreciate it, but, you know. you can say that about any sports. Yes. So, like, that's the way I feel about the, 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 um, the, the, uh, what were we just talking figure about? Skating. Figure skating. Figure skating as well. So I'm like, 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 yes, like, this is impressive. However, it was also impressive when we saw the last three fucking couples do the same goddamn thing, or variations of the <laughs> I same I have a direct goddamn. correlation to pro wrestling. Uh, it. Oftentimes, when you're at a wrestling show, people don't watch the matches that are going on. Mm. Well, if the first four matches ended with a power bomb, and guess what your finish is? <laughs> it's a power bomb. That's yeah. dumb, yeah. you know. But at the same time, it's like, oh shit, we got to change our routine because they did the triple sow cow after mm-hmm. the backflip yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and and, and I see, it with gymnastics also, it's like the same. I love well, they gymnastics. get they I love get gymnastics. So I can't say love, but same same boat. I can watch it. I can appreciate it. Are you saying that every four years for two weeks you're vastly interested in gymnastics when the Olympics come? I can't even say vastly. Okay. <laughs> every 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 four years for two weeks I am remotely interested. You're remotely interested. <laughs> that's 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 it. That's I think that's probably just, me in figure skating. Yeah, it's just the never luge. On. Yeah. The luge. What's the one with the the broom? Yep, the, yep, yep. That, that's uh, curling. Curling, yes. No, but like it's just never on when there is. Like gymnastics and shit on that. Do watch it. We have even a non Olympic channel. That's all they play is Olympic it's all, sports. It's like it's just like what a world. It's a it is. organized tricking, is what it is. It is well, so uh, to speak. Well, tricking <laughs> as in the making money on the corner kind, <laughs> or they the doing, as doing flips. And well, and tricks. the thing you got to keep in mind is yeah, they do shit. a lot of the it's same like ninja shit stuff because they have to. It's like okay, here's the list of moves you have to do to get the points. Right to get to the win. points. You didn't you watch a uh, stick it. That that movie is all about uh, not following the system and doing what you want to do. What no. with gymnastics? The gymnastics rebels. They, it's, it's, a, it's a young young woman. You might, you might thing, say I enjoyed you, it. You might say I like gymnastics. You might say they're flipping over the system. <laughs> they don't call it <laughs> gymnastics. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, how do we get here? So you're buying play arts guy. About your oh, collecting. Oh yeah, Final Fantasy. Yes. You are all buying quarter scale. You are buying fifth scale to third scale statues based on interest uh, and pieces of mm-hmm. value, um, um, personal value. It, not it doesn't value. even have to be a certain scale. It just has to be something that looks good to me mm-hmm. and fits in my space. And like six scale stuff is great because all the playoffs Kai stuff is six scale. But like the selection isn't as good. And if oftentimes if there's a quarter scale of say a Batman and a six scale of a Batman, the quarter scale is generally going to be more impressive or better looking, unless it's a diorama which happens to be in six or eighth or ten scale more, mm. like those guys. Yeah, I, I like the Iron Studios. Yeah, I have different I think levels of appreciation for all of the different scales depending. Like it's it's a it's really come down to a needs a needs and space and logistic issue for me now. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so for me, I'm putting things in magic cases, and you know, and I have to keep that in mind. On, on, and the feel of like the museum quality stuff. Yes, but you have, I mean, you like you have action figures in there also. The play our sky, yes. No, you have the, the Saint Seiya stuff. Saint Seiya, yeah, yeah. That's the, I guess that's action figures. The yeah. gold stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, but they're would, impressive looking as a set. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wouldn't have one in there. Right, right, right. And you're thinking about. You were going to buy shelves and stuff because you were going to do more. Is that also on your... I have half shelves and stuff. But you just I haven't... haven't put them in because it's a pain in the dick now that I have shit in there. Right, 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 right. And right. I've put it off. It's been like six months. Mm. So, statues. Mainly. Mainly. Um, yeah. Play Arts Kai. Anything, anything Final Fantasy Seven. Okay. And Final Fantasy really in general. And uh, Bishojo's for Krista. Okay. And then you're still... She's like all of them. And you're still doing Warhammer. Yeah. Uh, well, I've been drawing... 
but I'm, I'm not out of it. I'm still buying everything well, I mean, that, all the releases. Yes, right, 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 and right, stocking right. them in the fucking. Is show. that because it's the, is the aftermarket crazy on the stuff, or is it no? I, it's I don't a collection even know what that thing. Like. It's just a collection. Like, I mean, they come in little boxes, mm-hmm. little bo- boxes of plastic models. It's just like I collect one faction, which is Primaris, and I collect all of it. So, like, I just want to get it as I go because, like, if you leave it for three years and you go back, and it's going to be three thousand dollars worth of stuff instead of fifty dollars of stuff a month. Are you? Yeah, st- that's fair. Are you still doing any of the other mo- model stuff? Uh, like the gun- Gundams, and- I have them, and I'm I do buy them once in a while with with um. The ones I love, mm-hmm. which are few and far between, because I don't love the popular stuff, mm-hmm. which is good for me. Um, it's just again time of putting together. Because before 40k, I did 40k for three years. Mm-hmm. I did Gundam for a year, mm-hmm. and then it was 40k again before that. So like, I go through phases. Right. Like in my mind, I want to get all these things done, but in reality, I'm not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. have to accept that shit. You know, at 40, at 40, at I'm not 40. 40 yet. In four months, I can say at 40. Yeah, dude, wait to wait. It's great. It's awesome. Just to, be, just to be able to say it. <laughs> and be um, part of this cool table. Yeah. This, this particular this cool particular table. Cool particular table. Cool table. Cool table. 40 and up cool table. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Boomer table. Yeah, fucking uh, back pain mm-hmm. table. Um, Speaking of which, we, <laughs> next time the stools wear out, let's get some of them with backs. <laughs> but, the problem but we have to lean forward for the mics. Yeah, and the problem with the backs... Yeah, but you can take a break every once in a while. The problem with the backs is the space in the No, I, I know, I know. But yeah, I mean, I, I would like it too. Um, what are you collecting? Everything, everything. Give you everything. So, so, so I mean, <laughs> so, so I mean, my 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 Hot Toys collection is has lightened up significantly. Um, I'm kind of collecting six scale DC stuff, and that's it. If they do, um, uh, bah, 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 bah. Do you see a new Wonder Woman diorama six scale. Yeah, I, I meant I meant to talk to you about that actually. It's, it's, it's like it's mirrors like the Batman, the Batman one. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty cool. And it's actually I like it better that there's less villains. Like, it's, it has a little bit more room to breathe. Yeah, and the villains are more detailed out. Yes, yes, the yes, 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 like yes, 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 yeah. yes. Um, so uh, like I like the um, like I'll probably end up still getting the DC like the video game stuff like the Arkham stuff if they continue doing that. There's not that many left, is there? I mean, it depends. They could. I mean, they they have Nightwing and Batgirl and Harley uh, announced, mm. but they could run the gamut with it if they wanted to. They just they're not very prolific with it for whatever reason. Yeah, and like it, like just not striking with the iron side. I I, I guess the, yeah, the new, more games are coming out that yeah. they'll be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, but a few I agree. years now. Yeah, one hundred percent. Um, and then if they ever do a cyborg, obviously I'll get the cyborg. <laughs> um, God bless it. Um. And then, like, you know, the Star Wars stuff, like, I'll pick up some odds and ends, like, but, I mean, they have the Lando announced, I got him, they have the, if they do more Padmes, I'll probably get them, if, but, like, they don't really, they're not really offering a whole lot of, you know, everything's Mandos and clones, and, and this is the same with Black I mean, Series, for the most part, Because that days. is striking why the Ironside, because that's what's out right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. but, um, I'll I'm pick, sure Ahsoka stuff will come out. And, so, the, and then, I'm, I'm getting the Ahsoka and Rex Clone Wars versions, uh-huh. and then... I, I don't have anything, and I, you know. And then the previous stuff like Billy D, uh, I have uh, uh, pre-ordered. Don't um, talk about him like that, <laughs> dude. That guy's an asshole, man. I, like I, I met him in real life, and uh, he was a fucking jerk. Um, yeah, but but it's never meet you your heroes. Yeah, separate you, your, the art from the artist. Yeah, and I do, I do, hundred yeah, percent, easily. easily. Yeah, yeah, and I heard that this weekend, and was like. I can definitely appreciate that. And I even understand, I even understand, like, you know, people there taking pictures of him all day, shaking his hand all day, bothering him all day, but, you know, he's, he's also... He's paid he, all day. But he's also getting paid all day. He also only has the privilege of making that money because the fans still love him. Like, there's a give and take and yeah. a balance to it all, but... I um, get it, but, like, I'm all, I also get real fucking uh, grouchy at work, at retail. By the end of the day, I'm not really giving the best customer service because I'm tired of it, you know? But I was like, man, like, um, like you know, he, like, wouldn't take his sunglasses off, like... <laughs> Too cool for school, bro. You know, shit like that. He's but, probably fucking high or some shit. Yeah, it's whatever. <laughs> but, but like, uh, you know, so I'm, I, I don't have a whole lot of, yeah, of yeah. best in interest there. Um, I still, like, I, I want to do a couple focus shelves here, and then I'm just planning on filling them in with books. Like, but, like, I mean, the... the, I mean, the, the shelves are pretty filled. As the, far as I can see. Well, they are and they are. But, the, but the, the hard part that I have in here is now finding pieces. When I say in here, I mean in like the sit down Saturday room. Like in finding pieces that fit the specific space just right that also kind of, you know. Sex scale stuff. Yeah. Or, or sometimes. Sex scales are smaller. We're smaller. We're <laughs> yeah. smaller. Like it, it all depends. And like, 
Um, but it's like like what I can't do, like that Colossus, right? That I bought is an Iron Studios Coloss- Col- Colossus, <laughs> a colossal <laughs> monster. Is it Jersey? <laughs> what is that? Um, I don't know what that was? <laughs> but I really want him on this shelf, uh-huh. but he doesn't fit. No, like just by like uh, two centimeters. Oh, because that's the middle shelf. It's so like, but he fits up on there. But I don't want him up in there. But I have to. It's like you know. So it's like little logistical things. I ordered something uh, recently. And I like I I even asked the seller I was like it was an eBay thing and I was like you're saying this is nine and a quarter inches and they're like yep and I was like cool got it it was definitely nine and three quarter inches inches and now it didn't fit mm. so like I had to completely rearrange a space and like I just I'm running out of wiggle room to rearrange the space because yeah, people don't realize like when you ask for measurements it's for a specific reason correct i have a i have a couple shelves out there for for s- slotted and slated for specific transformers that if they make cool and if they don't well i guess it's going to be empty forever i'm just tired of playing the game <laughs> um and then my dc stuff is full i got some star wars stuff that i got to get and uh the the black series announced a zalbar did you see that like uh who? Poosh Nichols. Did you see Poosh Nichols was announced? Poosh Nickens? <laughs> Poosh Nickens. All three of the Poosh Nickens. Can we with rock? Sha- with Shaquille O'Neal was also announced. <laughs> What's up, Doc? Um, but they had... Uh, it, Zalbar was this Wookiee from Knights of the Old Republic. So in my mind, I'm like, oh, shit. Like, if don't don't tease me, baby. Don't tease me with, like, you know, because that's, that's, like, a huge part of my Star Wars fandom. So um, I have, like, a shelf slated and slotted for them. I have, like, all I have all my shelves pretty much planned out at this point. And I'm just I'm just filling them in with, uh, but it's it's not a whole lot left for me, you know. Like I gotta, cut, oh, you always find ways to add new lines, bro. Yeah, yeah. But I, I there are there are You're getting oh, the silver hawks. Yeah, and I got one shelf. It's where those uh those pops are. That's where they're going, you know. And that's that's it for that. And I'm not getting all of them. I'm just getting a handful of them. I'm not happy with that release. Why? Let's talk about that. I don't know. I I, I, I want to. I'm just gonna wait till they release the Vag Metal ones because you know it's gonna happen. I, I I'm, I'm sure it, it probably will. But they said I mean, that they look. I get it. They're cartoon accurate, but right. it doesn't look head. good as a figure. Yeah, I think it looks right. But but they said that they they said that they couldn't do it. Oh really? Yeah, the, interesting. They're gonna figure know. out a way. Oh, so we, we just but, figured it out cor- how to do it. Correct, correct. <laughs> then Lucky you that, guys. That part. <laughs> <laughs> nickel. There, it's actual nickel cadmium. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you rub them together, they'll actually create a spark. Uh, as far as my magic case goes, I know the exact piece. I have two, uh, two of the larger pieces. I can't believe you're not getting a third scale, of Michael Jackson, bro. Yeah, I don't have the room. With the jukebox and everything, that shit. I don't like, have the what room. What kind of fan are you? Yeah, I know. I'm trash. Phony. I, don't, I know. I am phony. I don't have the, I don't have the room. I am getting... Um, I don't like phonies. I am getting... <laughs> I stay away from the cage. It's phonies in your pants. I, I, say, I stay away from um, from uh, a lot of stuff with that because I have... I know exactly where everything is going now in that case. There's only room for that and then I'm done. And I'm anxious to be done with that because that spending, is, I'm not comfortable with that level of spending on one purchase, just personally. On one purchase, yeah. Because yeah. I was like, you spend that kind of money all the time. Yeah, I'm just not. I'm <laughs> just not comfortable with it. Um, but I like the pieces that I have. I'm looking forward to these other pieces that I have, and then that'll be done. A couple Black Series, a couple Transformers, like, and Mortal then Combat. I'm at Mortal Combat. I'm able to kind of pick up these, but Mortal Combat space is all it's set. You know what I mean? Like what's in there goes in there, and like I have these like. Um, like I have like a lot of like little novelty figures pre-ordered, but like they're just for like accent pieces for stuff in here, and like I'm kind of good. Like I'm, I'm. I mean, I would hope so. Like you literally have thousands of figures. I'm thinking about because <laughs> uh, I, I have been haunted a bit by the conversations that we've had here recently. Like, what are you going to do when the dioramas are done? Yeah, I think I'm going to try when it, when all that's done. When I feel settled, I feel like complete. Um, I'm really going to try my hand at custom work. Oh, like I'm, nice. I'm, I'm really, really, really going to give it an honest, honest go. Because then you can get the stuff you want that aren't getting made. Correct, correct. Like, um, like you could have made a Bodhi. Yeah, and yeah. Well, that would have been a waste of out. fucking effort now. But that's the thing that's about it, it. That's happened with me with 40k. Oh, I don't doubt it at all, dude. I spent like months sculpting something, and then they announced a the fucking release afterwards. I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah, fuck me. Finding that that character that's like. I can do this. I can make it look good, and there's no way a, a better one is coming. Is like the the balance. Mm-hmm. 
Now. <laughs> so you want to know what I'm currently collecting? Yeah, and so. what and what your mind state is regarding it? Because like my mind, his mind state is basically, I'm I'm finishing. This, I'm working on this museum, mm-hmm. and these are the things that interest me regarding the museum. My mind state is, I have everything mapped out logistically. Now I'm filling it, and I had to fill it with pieces cur- that specifically meet those museum. needs. Correct. Already, yeah. And so I'm building the warehouse apparently. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, because I mean, we've you guys haven't been in the house since we rearranged the basement, but mm-hmm. I still got totes of shit everywhere. I, along with empty shelves, um, I've got ideas of some things I want to do display wise. I just haven't gotten around to it um, because all my free time's taken up with my other job, essentially, and playing video games lately Hell has yeah. been a horrible time. Issue. Use That's the problem. Yeah, I'm sick, man. All right, I'm gonna play this for an hour. That's what I say. No. Say, like, yeah. Never the last famous okay, last. I'll play this for four hours. So, like, I my my six scale. I, I just looked. I've got three hot toys on pre order. It's all Star Wars shit. It's Moff Gideon, and I guess it's the. Animated, quote unquote, Ahsoka and Rex, mm-hmm. and that's why all I don't know anyone was out of Dawson on the shelf. Because I'd already ordered that, and I'm like, you know what? I don't. I've got like I got IG11 in the other day. I, I didn't even think about opening it because I don't have all that stuff where I want it to be. It's yeah. it's kind of scattered. Uh, I still pre-order, you know, the Mythic Legion stuff. I don't backtrack on that because I've basically got everything I would want from that line. Do you, do you get yourself a Hot Toys Johnny Silverhand? No, I didn't. I didn't because I'll be honest with you, his character in the game is annoying. I'm gonna talk about this in my nerd week, but I'm playing back through that and I'm basically ignoring him. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, every- he's not a, it's not what you, people would want yeah. him to be in the video game. So you can you can sit there and have this conversation with him, or you can just fucking go about what you're doing because yep. he's in your head. Yep. I just I've basically been ignoring him, and I'm having more fun with it to be honest. <laughs> um, GI Joes, I order all the GI oh, Joes yeah, I have on order. Vehicles, yeah, and, and the of course the couple that came out this past week. Which all things considered, I guess being a Target exclusive, it was nice to actually be able to get it. Yeah, I got, I got mine. Yeah, um, the guy on the bike and mm-hmm. uh, barbecue breaker and barbecue. Yeah, and uh, let's see, Mezco's. I pretty much just, I, I have skipped some stuff. Like I didn't order Ultraman because I don't care about Ultraman. So that was my first step in saying you don't have to have all of this. Look I did, at you. I did order the Fantastic Four set that they. Did you see that? Yeah. It kind of looks. It gives me some robot chicken vibes, though. I'm gonna be honest. With you. <laughs> like it really does. I thought the thing looked good. The thing looks great, yeah. and the attachments they have with Reed Richards to yeah. body morph look really cool. But I mean, their clothes look like I'm just waiting on their mouths. Yeah, to do yeah. Um, but that's my. That's always my issue there. But. Yeah. And uh, these AEW wrestling figures. It's and that's, honestly, but that's a new wave. That's been you. something to, to chase, and that that. There's such a divide between the mentality of people who collect the wrestling figures that don't collect other toy lines and uh-huh. people who do. It's very I mean, you see it strange. differently, I think. It like, does. It's just the if way... you collect just one thing, it doesn't make you, you know, like toys or... Right. And whatever. I think that, I mean, just like like there's a new, newer line and, and the figures, um, their joints pop out, you know? It's, mm-hmm. it's a, a peg with a ball that goes into a butterfly joint. And uh, this fig, the arm had come out... And the figure was wet, so I'm assuming that he was trying to do, up. to do something and to, to loosen it up, and it came out. And I'm like, okay, just stick it back in. And these people are losing their minds about this. Then in one of the wrestling groups, people are asking about the SH figure arts because they did a WWE line. Yes. Problem is, their the, their figure art scale and wrestling figures right. are seven inches right. or yeah, so. Right, They're right, more right, like right. ten scale. And I have never in my life seen so many people destroying SH figure art because they just don't get it. Right? They're not action figure. They're, they're not action. They don't figure. know what they're looking at. That aside, I've been having I've been having you know fun chasing those down, and I've got some display ideas for that too. I just I've just got to get around to it. Oh, rings and stuff. Uh, yeah, things. But you know, just ways to display the stuff. I ring think, dings. <laughs> ring a ding dings. <laughs> you gonna like, build your own? With a trampoline and everything on I've already built... I mean, I've built a ring before, but a small one. one. You did one one scale. I did. We did one one scale. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, and I'm picking up the 86 um, Transformers mainline stuff. Yep. Um, That, actually, while I was on uh, out of town last week, I found Galvatron and uh, Ultra Magnus. But then Ace told me that the shoulders are misassembled on some of those Galvatrons. And I had... I was like, well, am I going to buy this toy to fix it? I'll wait till they were, you know, apparently they've already got replacements out. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I maybe some odds and ends stuff here and there. I'll take a yeah. look at that Ultra Magnus if you uh, both. Yeah, but... I, I didn't end up picking either one of them. Oh, okay, okay. I okay. was like, I'm not getting any of that shit. <laughs> I just That'll learn them. 
That's right. <laughs> um, and that's really it. I mean, are you still doing Black Series? Mm -mm. That's more no. than I thought because I thought you were no. like hardly buying like figures other than Cystic Legions. When yeah. did you stop with Black Series? Because you got the Mando speeder bike in a box. Yes. I, well, I have those. I don't know. It's uh, I don't think I have anything left on. I might have some stuff in my pile of loot, like the the um, Bad Batch guys. Uh -huh. I, I I don't have it on display. That's the problem. It, in in my mind, it, I don't know. I've got stuff that I that's like those troop building stuff. I ordered some of those, and I didn't even open that box from Amazon because it's like I don't right. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. So, um, I, I had an interesting conversation about collecting and churn, and and I think a lot of us realm guys had kind of relied on NJCC twice a year to purge the collection and keep the churn moving right we haven't had that no. so i you know I, I think there's a lot of people sitting on a lot tons of, of product tons of product yeah so I, I and truthfully i need to go on an ebay crusade and just sell a ton of shit like yeah. i've got bags of loose figures i don't even know what to do with them because I, I don't trash. i don't want to get out of dirty, bin. i don't want to get out of a dirty mattress you know? Yeah, yeah, I think that's, like, that's the perfect spot for NJCC. You just put them in, you bag like, them, five dollars a piece. Because otherwise, is it worth your fucking time and effort? You know, to put them up for sale versus to even lay them on a mattress. Exactly. <laughs> this is, that's, that's what happened. That's why when you're like, oh, you want a Neurex? I'm like, here, this has just been sitting on a box. Take it. Mm -hmm. Or like the IKEA bag I gave you. Just I, I don't want it. Just get it out of my fucking face. Yeah, yeah. Like, and I, and it's I'm, not worth I'm it for me to that sell. Point with some stuff. Unless yeah. like you're hard up for cash. That's a different story. But kind of not so what's nice about stuff like that like a lot of those transformers that you gave and um and then like some of like the marvel legends and stuff and, and like that i'll take up there is that like you know if people want them you can sell them five dollars or whatever or if, you know you had some nicer ones in there that i that we all priced out and stuff but but then like you, when the kids come around you just hey hey come here yeah pick something out of here all yeah. right that, that's like, great how much is that that's you man i like having like a five dollar box even if it's just stuff yeah. sitting on the floor for kids again, like, well, well, somebody steals it, then I don't fucking care. Right, yeah, right. it's just you know, just buy your kid a toy it. so they'll shut up, kind of deal. Yeah. It's like you're doing me a favor by getting rid of this at my house. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like we've got, we got a lot of stuff we need to figure out. I've got, I've got some ideas on how I want to display stuff. You need to build an expansion to your house yet? No, hopefully you're not going to be able to it's be doing that. Expand out the basement and the whole other, you know, <laughs> warehouse. Let's just keep on going. Just yeah. keep on, keep you on. You have a big yard, bro. Yeah, really? yeah, fill it up. Fill it up. <laughs> <laughs> Just treat it, treat it like a shelf. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start displaying shit outside. <laughs> What's this in this tree? Oh, that's my hot toys. That's, like, that's my indoor collection. Yeah, because it's outdoor. It's <laughs> indoors, outdoor. Um, but yeah, it's a. Uh, it, it is interesting. Like, because I'm, I'm pretty much just doing like the the Mortal Kombat stuff, the Black Series, the Marvel Legends. I cherry pick, and I, like I've bought I think six this year. So far, of like four or five waves, mm -hmm. um, and it, it's like it's kind of like stress free in that regard. And then you know, Transformers, it's even you know more hit or miss. I think I've bought that would be an interesting look to see what I've bought this year, Transformers wise. It's part three fucking things. I bet you it's on one hand. It's, and it's how, on many, fans toys. how many fans toys releases have there been? All <laughs> I don't know. Well, I guess there were some before Chinese New Year, maybe. Yeah, but this last year. No, I mean like like January. Yeah, that's last year. It's Chinese last year. Oh yeah, that's true. Chinese last year. Yeah, if we do by Chinese this year, <laughs> I'm, in, oh. I'm sitting really good. Um, but yeah, it's 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 really been hit or miss. Like, and, and I was able to uh, acquire most of these uh, Masters of the Universe figures that I kind of wanted from Rush. Shout out to Rush; he did really well by me. Um, and uh, also, like he like he he always like so I buy a lot of the clip, and he always includes like a little gift. With it, but he's already giving me a great price on it. He doesn't need to do shit. I'm already stealing from him. <laughs> um, but like one was like these like little like uh, eight bit Mario. You can't hard hard to see from here, but like uh, like Super Mario yeah, Brothers. Here, like yeah. you know, it's fucking cool. Um, you know, and then like like the GI Joes I'm collecting, but like I kind of kind of a set space for them. And when that's done, that's done. And same with the turtles and um, Black Series. I'll probably continue collecting and. I mean, and then just novelty shit, and like mm -hmm. that's it. Like yeah. it's and, crazy until something it's, else catches your eye, or you know, like new line. Look, that, that, you didn't have any of that DC shit eight months ago, and now you've got a whole fucking Billy full of. Correct, um, correct. But I, I was saying, I, I think you'll find something new to buy. 
or a maybe. new or a new way to do a display that'll catch your attention. Yeah, yeah. Like I could see myself like trying to do something in here or trying to do something for these detolfs that are like um like remember when uh was it you and and uh young that were doing those like backdrops? We did one. Like like stuff like that that's like simple Could definitely do better now but sweet, yeah. clever, mm-hmm. sharp, classy, but not too much. I can see myself doing something like that for but but once again let's brainstorm. It's crafty stuff. Yeah. It's it's less collecting stuff, it's curating. Mm-hmm. Um it's making things look spending, better. it's spending time with your collection in a different way, is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh and with that, uh we're gonna go into Nur Weeks, but before we do, uh we're gonna have a Father's Day talk. How was your Father's Day? It was good. I um, got up at five fucking o'clock because that's when I woke up. <laughs> yeah, got a bunch of work done. Late sleeper, this one. Got some laundry done. Um, dad stuff. Dad stuff. Yep. Yeah. Um, I got you know, Kelly made a pasta dish that I like for dinner, and got me a German chocolate cake after going to three Ooh. stores to find it. <laughs> <sighs> and uh, play a lot of video games and had a good time. Nice. Just really low key. Kids and, and Kelly got me um PlayStation uh store card or what you know, I guess mm. the to buy games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um so I looked through there last night and I'm like, what should I buy? I don't because there's a lot of like fifteen dollar games, like PS4 games, but they're still new to me. Right. That you can buy on there. I don't know, I just gotta figure out what I wanna what I wanna get. Nothing's super duper caught my eye. Like the last wrestling game was apparently awful and really glitchy, but it's only fifteen. Usually they are. <laughs> well, it's like on, uh, at one point it was unplayable. They patched it a lot, but it's only fifteen bucks. I'm like, eh. it'd probably be funny for the glitches at fifteen bucks. Uh, but yeah, I had a really, really just kind of chill. You know, call my dad, talk to my dad, got some messages from other guys, and you know, that's really about it. What about you? I'll tell you. Um, not that I don't appreciate all of the Happy Father's Day messages I got from people all over, but it is, it is like. I, like, I, I almost, I think next year I might put up a post just first thing in the morning. Like, I'm assuming all of you are wishing me a happy Father's Day. And know that if you are one, I'm wishing you the very same. Uh, let's just go with, let's just, let's do some manly shit and just not talk about it. <laughs> I mean, that's how I feel about all the days. That's how I feel about my, my birthday, too. I don't, I'm like, bro, I don't need it. Thanks. I yeah. appreciate it, but I don't need exactly. every it's single like, person like I, I, I talk to I and don't talk to. I, I assume that you wish me that in spirit. Yeah, yeah. You know? Um, and if you don't, then, you know. Let me know if you don't. Yeah, that, that's that, it's easier. <laughs> hit me, hit me, and be like, you're in your birthday. I, I, do not, I do not wish you a happy Father's Day. All right, well, I'll block you, Mister <laughs> Mister Negative. <laughs> Mr., excuse me, Mister Perfect. Um, but I, uh, I had a very nice one as well. I, uh, I worked unfortunately on Father's Day, but I, uh, we celebrated on Saturday. Mm. Uh, woke up and had some coffee. I ended up watching. I got I subscribed to this new Instagram page. Um, let me see if I can't pull up something. I like so it's funny as shit to me. I like pulling up some of these. I'm trying to think if there's any like um, any like any one in particular that catches my eye. Fuck it, I'm not gonna do it. I can't really find one very quick. Um, but if I can remember the name or hit me up and I'll get you the name. It's funny as shit, but it's definitely some ignorant shit on there. Um, <laughs> super ignorant some of it, but it's still it's still funny, entertaining. Yeah. Um, I watched that for like an hour. Laura and I just ended up like looking through them and laughing a bit. And then I was like, fuck, I got to work on some uh, diorama stuff. Uh, I finished Mustafar, which was like on my to-do list. And I'm happy with the way it turned out. I used a lot of your scraps for it. Your, uh, <laughs> your buckets, unlimited. buckets getting full again. Dude, you just got unlimited scraps, bro. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I do appreciate that. And uh, and then uh, Laura and I did a, a podcast. So it allows me to do an extra podcast for Patreon for father's day and my birthday for music mm. um and then what else did we do oh i got some gifts i got uh the, I, she got me the gambit and rogue so that's done oh nice, nice. yeah I, I think she paid out the ass for it at a price that i would have like smacked her for i mean um, that's the only way to get it though yeah but um but yeah she got me those so that's done there is a professor x and a gene gray but i don't have room for professor x and the gene gray is actually a phoenix it's not a gene gray so mm. i'm passing um, I mean, take him out of his chair. He'll be fine. Just sit him on the floor. <laughs> I'll sit him on the edge of the shelf. <laughs> yeah, yes. with the little feet dangling. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> um, and I got uh, what else did she get me? Uh, a new pair of Tims, which I desperately needed. Not Solid. new balances because my spine of my old Tims looks like a lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> From step like, stomping on like, oh, it. Oh yeah. Um, and then she. What else did they get me? Uh, I want to say there was one. Oh, uh, a Bose. 
a Bluetooth speaker for the shower because hmm. right now I put my phone on the top of the shower. Oh God! <laughs> I just take my phone <laughs> in the shower. Yeah. It's, it's You're not, so brave. It's not a good look. Um, and she got me uh, ET aliens on vinyl, um, and frames for that and for Capone and go on vinyl. So, um, so yeah, that was cool. And then we had oh, we watched Loki, and then we oh yeah we had P- time cop. We no, we had um, steak. And she tried to like replicate the uh, Longhorn or not Longhorn Outback. Or Long- what is the one that we go to or for movies we used to go to? Logan's. That- no. Logan's? No. No. no, 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 Roadhouse, Texas, Texas, Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse. There's so many that are so different. <laughs> they are different. <laughs> they are. It's so different. So I'll tell. Uh, so I'm going to be go honest. Different ones with different things. So she made Outback cheese fries with the ranch, and that shit is spot on. She's got that shit down perfect. So like that was money in the bank, shorty. What you drink? And then she got me. The, and then she made me the steak with the Texas Roadhouse seasoning. It's in the ballpark, but we, it ain't quite there yet. But she did do the shrimp, mm-hmm. and she's got that seasoning down pat. That one's good to go. What about that garlic bread that goes underneath? So I passed. I passed on oh. it. I, but let me tell you. Let me tell you why I passed on it. Like I had dripping with butter. I had pizza the night before. Yeah. And the day before that, uh, some buddies and I got together and had cereal for dinner. Like Hell just yeah. <laughs> so we all we all bought we all bought one box each. Did you sing the song? Oh yeah. So I can't believe it. It's finally happening. Cereal night. It is here. It's cereal night. What a delight. Talking about this cereal night. Where's the booth? Where's our, I know we got the booth. We got an NLR fucking <laughs> album coming out. So so some friends of mine singles buddy booth and the cereal night. Some friends of mine and I get get together once a year uh, around the same time and have cereal for dinner, and uh, and we had it. But we we each it was six of us. We all got a box. We shared the box, so to speak, and then mm. we got and then we got one box to grow on. And there's always one. There's always one chucklehead in the fucking group that's got to buy some grown ass cereal. You slick life, dude. So all right, so we got so we got cinnamon checks, which all I actually brand. which I actually do appreciate because yeah. it's, it's it, and it's actually the worst for you of all of them. Like I was looking at like the box, like, like yeah, like the the stats on it and shit. I was like, holy shit, the cinnamon life. I mean, the cinnamon um checks, checks is the worst. It's worse than fruity pebbles. Like it's worse. You know what I mean? Um. Fruity Pebbles, hell yeah! Reese's Puffs, hell yeah! Um, Lucky Charms, mm-hmm. Captain Crunch, mm-hmm. Cookie Crisps. Mm-hmm. Uh, y'all got some big mouths. Those some big ass cereal. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, they are it's big. basically just cookies. It's, it's, it's like it's, a fucking cookie. It, it's I'm just never, cookies. I'm, I'm like, how am I supposed to eat this? <laughs> it's too much. Um, you dip it like a fucking Oreo. Oh, and then one guy got honey bunches of oats. I was like, I love honey. I love honey bunches of oats. I would probably oh, have fruity, that. And, and Fruity Pebbles. I love honey bunches of oats. That's like. <clears throat> I like to just bunches, but don't sell them anymore. So anyway, uh, we got the, so I crushed that. I probably had like I was thinking to myself, I was like, I should enter in Joe's contest. Um, I probably had eighteen hundred calories that in that just, sitting. Yeah, um, and then and so I had that, and then I had pizza the next day. And then she was like, "Do you want to do?" I, I was almost said, "Don't do the cheese fries," but then I was like, "Fuck it, go hard one more time, and then we'll, we'll <laughs> get right. back on the train." That's right. But um, but yeah, it was good. And then um, you know, and then good, good sex all day and all that kind of stuff. It was good. It was good. It was, good. It was a good day. And unfortunately, I'll tell you, it really did, being at work the next day, like, I don't know if I'm getting old and trash or whatever it is, but like, usually that kind of stuff doesn't bother me, like, we just do it on the on the day, and, you know, but like, oh, I was bummed. Like, I was like, man, like, I, I want to be with my family. I don't want to fucking be here today. Oh, man, shit. Yeah. That somebody better have kids on Mondays. Yeah, 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 <laughs> I guess so. Um, but yeah, it was good. All right, so, Chris, you had coffee first. Joe, how was your nerd week? We, we did the movie. I mean, I mean, you did movie. Yes. We watched Ghost in the Shell anime. Okay. Had a brief discussion about it. I got. I haven't put that out yet. And then we're going to do the live action. Maybe, maybe this. this Thursday, maybe this Friday. Well, Friday. Yeah. One. One of these. Are days. you off Thursday and Friday? I am. Yes. Okay. I'll see. I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. Um, Friday, I do have to do something. Yeah, Thursday is better for me. Okay. Different let me see, let me see what I can do. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm anxious to do it. I hadn't watched it since I was a kid. I don't want to give away too much of it, but it is not. It is not the movie I remember it being, and I don't remember it being what it was, and I don't remember it. And, 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 and <laughs> it makes, was crazy. It was... And it, yeah, and it makes sense that I don't remember it, but I was, yeah, it was for Patreon. Let's listen to the yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. There was a lot of uh, enlightening. Yes. It was very enlightening conversation yes, yes, for yes. both of us. Agreed, agreed. Um, play D&D. I'm doing this reading D&D books and drawing D&D and playing D&D once a week because I get into things. Um, I went to a... Games, a local game store. Oh yeah. Um, Chris had a photo shoot in 
Bethesda, which is you know where we kind of close where we used to live, and there's this one store called Dream Wizards in Rockville that I've been going to. S- sounds pretty badass. <laughs> <laughs> do you but, think those guys that, that hang out there do steroids? <laughs> oh yeah, Dream Wizards. It's the same people that's been there for the last thirty. Dude, I've been going there since I was a kid, and it's the same. That's crazy. Same two people that work there. Do they recognize? Just you? like I don't think so because I. That's weird. What? I feel like I would recognize you. If you'd been going there I mean, since I you were a kid, for years and I come back. Still, I'd be like, since you were a kid, you're talking about forty. Well, I guess no, because sixteen. But still, like thirty yeah, years right. of business. Uh, and but also, like if if you have a local game store that you go to regular, you would know that they're very clicky. And I'm not. Did they do this to you when you walked in? <laughs> well, they they glance at me over the shoulder. They glance at me. What are you doing here? I mean, they, they they're like that though. Uh, oh, like you, even local comic book stores are like uh-huh. they glance over and you're you, like, hey, have and you ever even dreamt you were a wizard, bro? <laughs> bro, <laughs> <laughs> bet you hadn't. You got no wizard dreams. <laughs> they just sit around in a circle with their f- group of friends who comes and hangs out with them, mm. who are all. 50s? 40s? I don't know. Bunch of pussy magnets, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, a s- a sausage. sausage. Probably just girls <laughs> everywhere, right? Just sausage everywhere. Just waiting like, outside to get in. Dude. There was one girl Draped that, over that their stopped laps. in with a dude <laughs> while we were in there. But it, so, you, I'm sure she you, was playing You, you never phone. see a fucking chick come to, into that store unless she was with a dude. They all look like Mark Silvestri pin-up posters of the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> He's got like 10 ladies like, just hanging around. <laughs> Nailed it. Um, but props them for still being open thirty years ago and yeah, through COVID yeah, and all that yeah, shit. Yeah. Like, because game stores and comic book stores, I don't, I don't think they are the as nearly as popular. It's like arcades all closed down. And right? I think it's super hard to compete against Amazon subscription services. Exactly. All like, like people are reading comics digitally now. Uh, many of them, you know. Yeah. So, so for them to still be open, it's it's, it's great. And um, great. so yeah, it was cool. I haven't gone to a store that I chose to go to, mm. and. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't cool. Yeah. It wasn't cool. It was fulfilling, maybe. There's nothing about Dream Wizards that'll ever be cool. It was. It was kind of cool. <laughs> did you spend that, any money there? I did. I did. Um, but being around nerd, like a store full of nerd shit that I love, it's great. They had 40k stuff. They have all the RPG stuff. They have game tables in the back. And but yeah, uh, all these game stores, all they were ever nerd, I was and I make the money off of magic cards. Mm-hmm. So like the entire group is just there. Like the entire staff. Which is the two guys and all their friends is just sitting around talking about magic the entire time, ignoring everybody. And someone comes up to the register, they'll like ring them real quick while it's still talking and just fucking throw them in the bag and then go back to the conversation. <laughs> but they're yeah. still in business, though. That's the thing. Because they're. Those people are used to that shitty service, is what it. I mean, if, if that place has been there for 30 years mm-hmm. with the same people. But, like, in my experience, not all game business, stores yeah. and all comic book stores, well, not all, like, independently owned comic book stores and game stores are like that. Mm-mm. There's there. I think there's I, definitely the, the there's the, exceptions to that rule, but the I will say yes. There's always that 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 click that uh. I feel like an outsider going in a lot of times. There's like normal right, like you don't have a subscription box there unless I am an insider. What do they call them? Like bar flies. Yes. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. there have been stores where I've become one of the guys who sits there and hang yeah, out. Absolutely. Have you ever tried to do magic in your dreams? <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I, I successfully do magic in my dreams. Just Dude, you life. are a dream wizard then, man. You just let them know. They probably think you don't do it. Hey, bro. <laughs> I just tell them about it. <laughs> Dude, what you are just you, walk up you're like, hey, man, I'm a wizard in my dreams, bro. <laughs> just say, what do you do in your dreams that, where, where, if you know you're a wizard? <laughs> let me in. It's, it's like uh, Freddy. That one, that one uh, was it Freddy 4? Dream Warriors? Stop, That's me. S- stop treating me like a dream hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dream wizard like you guys. I'm not a groupie for this. <laughs> Bro, I'm living this life. I can't, I can't imagine living that life. Uh, but I ended up finding a D and D alternate cover book there for a regular price, because like D and D release regular books and alternate cover books, but the the MSRP is the same. But it's just limited edition. Mm-hmm. So the cha- it's like a chase variant, right? But normal places would tra- upcharge it a bit, or yeah, yeah, or, yeah, yeah. or wouldn't have it, right? Or right, you right. have to buy a secondary market for right, right. So right, I right. found one and I, I bought it. I was like, oh, I bought something from a goddamn store, dude. Look dude, at you, it's man. Like, it's like, oh, this is what like this transformation. Damn, we didn't even get up. a stimulus check, too. That <laughs> sucks, dude. <laughs> hey, I am the stimulus check. You got to get out there and pump that stimmy money, man, <laughs> Bruh. I'm, I'm stimulating the, the nerd economy, which actually Damn, it's like man. it doesn't need to be stimulated. Like nerd economy is just fine. Oh, yeah, it seems like people don't have money for shit, but they can still yeah, buy toys. Yeah. But but that but the problem with that after getting that one book is like oh, 
I wonder what other alternate covers they have. <laughs> oh, did you Google? <laughs> yeah, I started going on eBay and looking at stuff. I I ordered one set, but I'm not I'm not sure how deep of this rabbit hole I'm going to. It gets, it gets expensive. I'm I found sure. one for like a bit on one and got it for a pretty good deal. So nice. We'll see. Um, watch a couple of movies in Discord because like that's our group thing. When is that a new streaming service? Discord. <laughs> Some not everyone knows what Discord is or have one. I understand. It took me a minute to figure it out. But you know what Discord is. But I know what it is now, kind of. It's yeah. It's like um It's like it's like AOL I'm, Messenger, but you can watch movies. Yeah, I have it. I have it. I have I've I have used it. it. I've used it for Well everyone something. has can you, you have an account so you can me- message it was people. largely based around video games though, wasn't it? No. I mean you can it can but, be. But when, I, mean, I think when, a lot when, of people when it first used came it out. To chat yeah, to just like, like Twitch was based on video games, right. but it's, it's not not that anymore. Yeah, see I got it. No, it's about hot Discord. tubs. Yeah, yeah. But you can you can join people's server and then Oh, you can make your own server. And Does the, their logo still look like Mickey Mouse's pants? Yes. Okay. Is that what that is? I don't know. That's what I was like. Why is that's what kind of it looks like? I thought it was like a little a cute person. I thought it was a little controller. That, Who knows? That, you're right. I, I do. Um, so we watched uh, Street Fighter, the movie, the original. Dude. With Raul Julia, dude, he acted the fuck out of He's that. He's a role. great actor. He like, who is right? it? Okay. Raul Julia, the guy who played uh, Bison. Bison and I think that also was Adam's family. I think Gomez. that was his last that movie. That was his last movie. The guy who played Bison. Yeah. yeah. In Street Fighter? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. I I can barely remember the he movie. Was, I mean he was well, also he was the dad in Adam's, he, Adam's family. Yeah, this is the dad in Adam's Gomez. family. Gomez. Oh really? Yeah, not was, not not the fly. He head. was one of the named like named actors that starred in that movie. Yeah, no, I'm sure. But uh yeah, no, Gomez like the, the with recent the with like traditional and like fan, fan, like Adam's family and Adam's family values. Like, yes, those, yes, yeah, those, yeah, okay. Yes. He was the um, so I watched that and we watched Clue, and I, I gotta say, Clue, Ra- Raul Julia, and fucking Tim Curry are <laughs> goddamn amazing actors. Yeah, dude, I I put them up there close to Gary Oldman. Yeah, Tim Curry's amazing, dude. That Clue, like I watched the, I didn't know, I know that there were multiple endings, there were like three endings. I never sat through all of them as a, you know before. Really? Yeah, like I would get whatever I get when I watched it when it when it shows up, but I I never. But they play them in succession. Like it happens, like they're and, like, but that's but, not what happened. This is what really happened. And this, yes, but originally when I watched it in the VHS form, I, it, w- it wasn't like that. I really? remember I only had having one ending. I only remember it having multiple, but that's weird. Yeah, that is weird. Okay, uh, but um, so we watched it, but like, yeah, I've I'm completely overwhelmed with how good those actors are. Because, like, we always talk about how, like, uh, Street Fighter, I always talk about how Street Fighter, the, the movie, is, like, so bad that it's good. It's entertaining to watch because it's so bad. But, like, his acting, he is such a fucking dumb, campy role with stupid lines. But, like, his, I, I, I don't know. I believed he, him. I believed him. He, he played the hooved devil in fucking Legend. Oh, Tim Curry. Yes. Yeah. Like, that's fucking nuts. I saw something funny the other day. It says... Admitting how you know about Tim Curry says a lot about you as a person. Legend and Clue. Uh, Those are my first two. Rocky Horror Picture, Picture Show. show. Is it, but that, w- that wouldn't Home Alone, Alone Two. It. Yeah, it. Oh yeah, yeah. fucking it. He's it. Dude had a fucking. I mean, I, I guess he's done acting at this point. He's how he can't move anymore. So yeah, he can't move anymore. He's in a wheelchair. I didn't know that. He's got some disease. Yeah. He, oh, I hate yeah, to hear. He's it. pretty bad it. off. Last time he's not dead him. yet though. Yeah, but Roger Lee is dead. But Roger Lee, dude. He played the fuck out of Bison. I was incredibly impressed because yeah. I, I didn't remember. I remember him being good, and I didn't remember the the performance. But he, yeah, and um, and then got us to think about what other board game movies are there because there are Battleship. <laughs> every, every, I, <laughs> wow, you jumped on that. It, it, so no, I, I said well, it was that, but nobody remembered it. It was, yeah. a, it was originally supposed to be part of this Hasbro cinematic universe. It, Rihanna was in it. Is that how you know? I think so. I think uh, I didn't watch it. There was I another... didn't watch it either. Hell oh, you, know, you just knew it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell no. Did anybody watch it? I think that's the problem. Nobody watched Nobody it. Nobody watched it. It was, uh-huh. it was a huge flop. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. A real steal is Rock'em Sock'em Robots. That's and that's, I, and that's that's true. I enjoyed that. Is that, that movie. the one with uh, Wolverine in it? Yeah, yes. that's actually a really good movie. I really, yeah, okay. I'm not the only one, but like you know, me and you are always kind of on the same page with movies, and he's kind of the outlier here. Yes, for sure. But he, I'm actually the normie. Mm. Uh, no, you're not. not. No, in regards to movies and shit, like there's not many people that would sit down and be like, Dwayne the Rock Johnson is a great actor. But they all enjoyed by Dwayne the, way, the Rock Johnson movies, unlike you. I'm still bothered by the fact that your wife did not know he started his career as a professional wrestler. Yeah. I heard you guys talk about that last It's crazy, day. right? Mm. Um, how, like, how do you not? 
but like uh, the general her, population I guess enjoy her late, what we enjoy. Guess her late that 90s you don't enjoy. Uh, no, that's not fair because like a lot of the shit, like the the the, the strange house or whatever the fuck, like I, I don't hear any general population. Oh no, that's an like indie that. movie on on Netflix. So I'm saying I think there's at the very least it's a Venn diagram. I think you picked the picked general it. audience is now checking out Grand Logan. Oh, well, general anime audiences. Yeah, but that's well, not the general just, audience. I was talking about, talking about movies. I mean, but uh, anime movies. They're not checking those out either. It's a Venn diagram. Hmm. I don't know. I'd because say, often I'd when say, we bring up movies, me and Chris are like, yeah, that was, enjoy- that was entertaining. That was enjoyable. And I'd you're say, just like, oh, that's shit. Well, like, I think most like uh, most normies that I know, they would never go watch Machine Mo- City, Mo- Motor City. Mo- okay, I, let, let's normies say... normies like John say, Wick. Hang on. Let's say movies that charted right. at the box office. Let's start there. <clears throat> I would say the majority of people would side with Joe and I's opinion on a movie before yours. Yeah, on, on box stuff, office. On, on stuff that's been in the box office. That I, that was a theatrical release. I, I would deal. actually... Well, so I I think that it breaks down a little bit more complicated than... Okay. I, so I would agree on, cert, on certain blockbuster... On most blockbuster movies yeah, because that, that I, I don't that like, that you both like, that you are with the normie audience. However... On certain blockbuster smashes that I like that you won't even watch, I respond more with the normie audience. Wolf on Wall Street, super popular movie in the normie crowd. Mm, true, true, true. You know what I mean? Casino gets 10 casinos from the normie crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Casino gets 10. Well, I mean, and listen, they're, 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 Joe and I don't always, I mean, like, I love both those films. Correct. And I've seen I, that's why I say, like, I think time. you and I connect on one level of movies. We do. And then you two connect on. And I then, see and your, then Venn, and then we it, that, your Venn diagram makes more sense. Correct. It's because you're. Uh, but I think, I think it, Joe and I might lean a little closer together than you. It's more like a penis where there's balls and yeah. the head. Yeah. Are the penis is a little farther away from the balls? It's still three. I'm okay. I'm, I, in, in this metaphor, you're the dickhead. In, 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 this, in this metaphor, I'm okay being a dick. Dicks have drive and purpose. <laughs> <laughs> You know that's from uh, Snatch. He was yeah. like, he was like, he's like, oh, you must be the big dick, and you brought your two little balls oh, along yeah. for a good old time. Yeah. See, but dicks have drive and purpose. Balls. They just, and he's like, you, you thought you smelled some good old pussy. Yeah, dude, that I need shit. to watch those again. It's that's- been a while. Um, but yeah, because like, it, it makes you further with Vin diagram automatically because you you're not into action movies for the action. Sure, sure, yeah. sure. And that and that's that regard, why, that's why. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's any. Is that I think there was going to be a Monopoly the movie, but there isn't. Yeah, I was trying to think. I, I got there's not. What, you know, what would be a trash one? Connect Four. <laughs> How about Shoots and Ladders? But it's a horror movie. <laughs> oh, that is this snakes and is Shoots and Ladder the one with the snakes? I don't remember. You could make the argument that the game of life is every rom com. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like there's another one out there, but I Sorry. can't. I can't place I, I it. So I Googled it. Oh, and, nice, uh, nice, nice. Okay, nice. what do you got? Well, it's... it's <laughs> I mean, I just said, you know, movies based, based on board, board games. games. So we get a lot of Ouija, Ouija board stuff. Oh, there's tons of Ouija oh, board yeah, games. Yeah. Jumanji, although it was well, a the other way, the other way around. Yeah, Dungeons, there's a Dungeons and Dragons There's movie. multiple. There's a third That's one fair. coming out soon. That's fair. That's fair. And They're uh, not good. The first two are not good. You guys, one of the Martin Brothers in it. And one oh, of them. yeah. It doesn't. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, this third won't be good. Sean, yeah. Sean is it Sean? And then there's a documentary about my. Is that Sean? A documentary about my. Yeah. Can you name other Wayne brothers? Hell no. Uh, <laughs> Hell can, can, oh no! Mad. Keenan and Ivory. Yep. Low down, dirty Ian, even like his brother Keenan. This Marlon. Then, <laughs> uh, d- d- uh, Damon, Damon, Sean, Marlon, and then Kim's a sister. Kim's a sister. I don't know if there's any. There's more. There, was, there, was there more that was not on TV? I think there was, was more on Living Color. You think so? I think so. Let's find out. Um, a couple of different rabbit holes here. <laughs> what uh, What other board games was that? Was that it? Yeah, that was it. That's all that shows up. So let's see who we got. Who's in the family? The the Wayne right, family. Let's hear so, it. There's a there's a Dwayne who's actually older the, than Keenan. That's true. No he was idea. a writer or producer on I think Living See, Color. I didn't know about Dwayne. A writer, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it he, is it the Rock film story? Is he in that family? <laughs> no, no. no. It's Keenan Ivory. There's a it's talented family, a, Joe. Deidre, who apparently I'm looking at who has a blue and who's not. <laughs> so there's Damon Kim. There's it's a, like check marks on Twitter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then there's if you matter or not. There's an Elvira. 
That's an Alva. A Nadia and a uh, it's a Devon, but with an E on the end. So I'm gonna guess that's a girl's De- Devon? name. Devon, Devon, and then Sean and Marlon came along like five years later. So they they had oh, a so spread. It really, it really is just those on. Uh, um, they had ten kids, but it's really just them that were. And yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the ones we named are the only ones that have a, 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 uh, like a IMDb page. That's a lot of fucking. I just kids. I just made up a bunch of extra wings. But it's that were a on the spread show. over. I'm a dream wizard. <laughs> 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 so it's from 56 to 72. So wow, that's a long, pretty long spread. Wow, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> true. But yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, Battleship and, and Clue. And in my head, I don't know why there's another one, but like I, said, I thought it was Monopoly was going was going to be a movie, but maybe maybe because they figured Hash was like this cinematic universe is not working out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> uh, uh, fucking uh, well, any any movie with uh, doctors will be operations. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm uh, Patch Adams. What? <laughs> Okay, Do- Doctor Doolittle, <laughs> uh, Doctor Strange. Dude. He did surgery at the very beginning. Dude, he did. Doctor Strange, love Kubrick. Anything? That's oh, all right. What What's the game that like you try to fucking match faces? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, like, uh, you have a board of guess faces. Who? Guess who? Oh, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know the one you're talking about. Got a bunch of faces. Who? Do you have a red beard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, uh, uh, All murder mysteries are uh, that game. My grandmother was Irish. I don't appreciate that. Oh, well, I'm sorry to offend. <laughs> she had a red beard. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what was his name? <laughs> um, yeah, but that's it. What that, that's it. That's it. <clears throat> what about you, Christopher? Nerd week. So I traveled for work last week. That's why I How was that? Getting assi- back into the assignment. saddle again? And I, I went all the way to New York City. Oh, my goodness. The big I city of to, dreams. Uh, yeah, I went to found out where they made. Uh, Picante sauce in New York. How, how does it feel to listen to Nerd Rage while on a road trip again? Actually, yeah. it's funny. I, I didn't do that. I listened to it while I was running my laser cutter this weekend. <laughs> I, I, I didn't get an alert that it came out. Did um, you try Sbarro's while you were up there? I didn't. I did. <laughs> Dude, did you miss Sbarro's from the, from the fucking I, I mall? Did have some, I did have some really good pizza. Uh, yeah, no doubt. I went by and saw... <laughs> <laughs> so I... I, I <sighs> Mostly was up in upstate New, um, not upstate New York, upstate upstate Jersey, I guess, and then went into the city. I, I stopped by and saw uh, Dave. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Hung out I was with him. He's he's doing pretty good. Yeah, because um, I asked him if you're going to see real people, and you said probably not because you've already well, been busy. It worked out that way. Good, um, good for you. Good for him. Yeah. So uh, hung out with him a bit. It was nice to see him. Um, New York City, like my mind had not wrapped. I had not prepared uh, mentally for the anxiety that comes with driving in New York. Oh, oh yeah. No, yeah, I never drive there. Like, the place I had to go for the the first meeting I had in New York City was, it was like, it reminded me of playing this video game I'm playing, and you just <laughs> find this, like, oh, what this is, what's this store doing? <clears throat> it was a building behind a building, and like, the, the GPS was like, nah, man, it's somewhere around here, you're gonna be alright. <laughs> Like there's nowhere to park. There's a tunnel. Wait, what's that guy doing? I don't need to be here. At the next light, turn light. Turn right. Turn then, light. <laughs> then turn right. You gonna be all right. <laughs> I remember the first time I ever rode with anybody that had a, a GPS. Uh, I went to a training class when I was just started with advanced auto parts years ago, and I get in the car with this other guy that's there that I've made friends with. And we're going to dinner, and he had. A Garmin or whatever, what was it? The other brands, uh, and he had had put like you could program different voices loaded in. Oh, it, yeah, and yeah. He had, um, <laughs> he had Cartman from the- uh, no shit. Yeah, nice. At the next left, turn into your mother's vagina. <laughs> just the <laughs> really? whole thing. Yeah, I guess Amazing. back then you could just have all that's these awesome. Ones. I thought that was pretty- every now and then they have something for like for ways. Have you? Yeah, like, no, Morgan Freeman had one. Yeah, Schwarzenegger had one. Yeah. Um, done a lot 3PO, of them. Uh, Anthony Daniels had one. I use like the Australian girl. I, I use the ways. British lady for Siri. Um, I don't want to be turned on while driving. <laughs> I'm already distracted enough with all my fucking texting. <laughs> <laughs> That's York, true. New York City <laughs> seemed to be pretty much open for business. Uh, I did, you did have to wear masks in the hotels, like when you weren't. But I got to thinking about. It, I stayed real close to the JFK one. Th- uh-huh. and that's probably why, because yeah, you know, a lot of they said July first though they're opening up. Like, you go to Midtown? I oh. didn't. I didn't. I was. I stayed in Queens, and my meetings were in Queens, and then I had to go to like, um, I had oh, to go yeah, to Rockaway, New Jersey, which was, it's up there close to like where Dust lives. It's, it's better than far Rockaway, there. Queens. Well, <laughs> yeah, it'd have been closer to go there. Nonetheless. Uh, the last day I worked, we worked up there and like ended up in up like not not uh, it is upstate because it's above the city, but right, yeah. it's not like all the right, 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 nothing the uh, country area. But you know, <clears throat> drive home four hours, 
Yep. We've been listening to a lot of wrestling podcasts. Nice. Just, you know, Passing, something to do in the car. Passing time. Yeah. Uh, semi, semi wrestling podcast here. Yeah. With Evan. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I, I've got several I people. We had a perfect sit in. I've got, I've got perfect uh, se- several people that are interested in doing a wrestling podcast with me. I just have to figure out Good luck the with logistics, the, time. the yeah. time, and how much time you got, bro. Yeah, yeah. And, the, and what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about what happened this week. You know, I, you know, he's right. gonna he's getting us ready. He's going to quit this podcast. Do a wrestling <laughs> don't podcast. don't do it. You, people start saying that shit, and then that should happen. No, listen. <laughs> 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 it's like every last week we're like oh maybe he'll take over like, no, no, don't, say that. don't say it's that. like when I make my millions of dollars Joe you know when I make my millions of dollars I'm making millions of dollars as a dream wizard <laughs> in, your about, dreams, right? in your dreams as a wizard you're yes, making millions of dollars correct isn't that how the, quote, the secret work with Oprah the, sec- yeah, the secret, I'm saying. The secret I'm, is to I'm, just like I'm project- will it into existence I'm, yeah. I'm projecting it into the universe I'm getting write, my hair back you write it down you <laughs> write it down great. and put it in your wallet I'm gonna just stack millions on my hair if you had millions of dollars, you can probably get hair. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. I got a little behind on Dark Side, but luckily they took a week off as their mid-season break. So uh-huh. I guess they're, they're doing a ton. So the last episode was about the Dynamite Kid. Anybody mm-hmm. ever heard that of that? That sounds familiar. So him and uh, Davey Boy Jimmy Smith Walker. were the... No. <laughs> but I did see him in a commercial for a Medicaid <laughs> Part B <laughs> add-on. God, man. And sucks. he said... Not di- for diabetes? He said Dynamite. See, he deserves better. He deserves better. He might. But you get what you get. And you it's don't very- get upset. <laughs> so the Dynamite Kid was the other half of the British Bulldogs with Davy Boy Smith. That, uh, British Bull- yeah, I remember British Bulldog. The, the, he was he looked like a fucking bulldog. That guy, the the, the white guy with the long curly hair. I mean, they all look like that. Right. He had really curly hair. It was blonde. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, that's not your thing. Of somebody else. These guys both had dark hair. Anyways, Dynamite Kid was a very he was short British compared mm-hmm. to the monsters of the, um, and he. He has some matches in Japan that literally changed the way wrestling was done. Like, this the quick, you know, the Japanese style that, I don't know if you guys remember, the the very fast-moving, fast-pacing, uh, not a lot of rest holds like you'd see in a WWE match between stuff. The transitions are different. And that led basically to, like, you know, uh, Lucha Libre taking on kind of that style. But he was a British guy, and this was in the 80s. Um, you know, he wrestled in Japan, uh, made a name for himself, came over to the United States. Um, he took some really nasty bumps, probably probably had uh, post-concussion syndrome, mm-hmm. um, and basically lost his shit, you know. And, and did, yeah. he got in a – he got in a uh, – f- well, he hit – he was very arrogant at, at, at work, and he didn't like the way this one guy was – doing business and just came up and punched him in the back of the head from behind while he was sitting there playing cards after the match. Wow. Well, this guy Completely gets his, suspected. this guy, and he was like known as the badass guy. Well, this other guy and they, they, you know, had him on there. He, uh, punched him in the, in the fucking jaw with a roll of quarters, <laughs> busted his jaw and kind of took his, his swagger away. And then he just, you know, there's some incidents with domestic violence, this, that, and the other well, long story short, he, he died. He died basically alone. Without his wife and kids in England, in a you know he was in a wheelchair and um, it, a lot of, a lot of happy like, endings in this industry. In, in wrestling, not. yeah, it feels like that they all well, end, it, end that way. This isn't the bright and sunny side of the ring. We're right, talking right, about. right. We are talking about the dark um, side of it. But I, you know, and I, know, I never put it together that wow, this guy really did like re they reinvented the way wrestling was done and, and opened it up to smaller guys to be able to to, yeah, to do it's wrestling. Crazy. Um, pretty pretty wild stuff. Um, so yeah. I. Speaking of concussions, have you guys watched the fucking slap slap fight contest? I, I'm, that shit is hard to I'm, watch after a while. It was like one one. You like take yeah. turns smacking each other. Yeah, but like this, like I think it's in Russia. It's like a yeah, professional yeah, sport. I've seen it. I've seen it. And the face is like twice the size after. Dude, that that's you're getting concussion. You you're getting brain yeah. damage. I like, would like to. Uh, they wouldn't allow that shit here. I don't think. Every now and then, I think about open hand smacking the shit out of somebody. It's like, not. It's no different than a punch, bro. <clears throat> yeah, with this. Because it's the inside of your knuckle. It's, it's the same thing. With this hand with, of mine. With your mitt. Yeah, I just feel like the face going between the fingers. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think I think that's that shit is worse for you than boxing or MMA. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I wouldn't doubt that at all. Because you're just taking shots. Yeah. Um, <laughs> speaking of which, flipping channels the other day, there was something I wanted to come on that I was <clears> going to watch at, uh, let's say, 8 o'clock. And it was like 7.45, so I'm like, let me find something. I was flipping the channels, and I found, <laughs> found this boxing... It was in Germany. The commentators were in, were English, but it was in, it was these German guys. Some of them were Russian, and some of these dudes, like the dude walking the ring, I told Kelly, I'm like, this dude don't fight full time. 
but he punches people for a living. Just looking at him, I'm like, looking at the tattoos on his chest, and yeah. I'm like, okay. And, and then that guy I got it. Then that guy got beat in this fight. I'm like, mm, that other guy should probably get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Um, I just thought that was interesting, and it was the it wasn't a very big. It wasn't a very big building that they were doing this. I in. believe that too. <laughs> Seems like underground but, shit. <laughs> but they had the walkout was like, let's say, let's say this is the room and here's the ring. Uh-huh. The walkout would be they start here and walk the entire perimeter and then come into the. Huh. I, I guess like just per, to get like their a little, little parade, yeah. get their little parade out. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I had a I had a need to design something for a project I'm working on that. I knew I could probably find something to 3D print, and I couldn't. We scoured and scoured. So I put on the old design hat, and I have Fusion 360 on my computer. I'm probably not supposed to have it because I think my trial expired, so I've been kind of bullshitting it. Well, it was like demanding that I update it. I'm like, this isn't going to end well. So I went on the... <laughs> no, never update. That, that's how to get you. Well, it wouldn't. I, it, was, it would like... I said no, and it shut the whole program um. down. So I'm like, okay. I think we're done here. So... I did the old Google of fruit alternatives for because uh-huh. it's expensive. I think it's like three four hundred dollars a year or something like that Fuck for the license. That. That's so always I, that's always the free alternative. I, well, I found a cloud based um, alternative. If anybody's ever doing that kind of work, called Onshape, O N S H A P E, and it's very very similar. Like yeah. it's like Procreate and, and fucking Photoshop is like the same shit basically. So I was able to. With with this this instance, in I was a, in, able in to a certain achieve. in a certain medium, like with drawing, it's kind of and the painting. Same shape, but but, but Photoshop a, can do a fuck no, ton more. Yeah, more yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. but if you just want to draw and paint, correct, 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 all yeah. the same shit. Oh, yeah. or twenty bucks. Yeah, I'm with you. I mean Microsoft Paint, same same uh, same, same. That's how you made <laughs> fake license back in the day. I knew these. I had some some guys I was friends with back like after high school and. That's what they like. Both had stupid cubicle jobs, and th- every week they had to send each other a, a piece of art that they use, <laughs> but they only could use Microsoft Paint. Right. So, like, they work on their spare time. And it was just absolutely atrocious. These friends also used to send each other autographed pictures of random, like, uh, former uh, NBA head coach Jerry Sloan. Like, here's an autographed picture. <laughs> Cause you can buy did they get really man. good? Like the people with really good with extra sketch? <laughs> no. Have you seen those people? I have. Yeah. With the little knobs? Yeah, it's crazy. I have. Eddie Murphy had to eat one. <laughs> <laughs> We've been super busy with with Crash Box, and truth be told, I think this week we are finally done with the orders from the first. Like when we first release this batch of product, we get slammed. So like, I think everything from the first week that we had the orders up. Which was a m- month and a half ago is is going to ship this week. Nice. Then it, it, it trickles down. So Mason's taking a summer vacation. His his girlfriend. <laughs> he he family. doesn't have class anymore. And he's not in well, school. from his job, quite quite. You don't so. get summer vacations from your job, bro. Well, <laughs> this is what oh, yeah, if you get on vacation you're, time, you're a teacher. But I told you, he's a, <laughs> Mason needs a stronger union over he there. Does. So the <laughs> long story short, I think they're leaving Saturday and they'll one. be gone all week. They have like a, I think. His girlfriend's grandma has a place in um, Ocean City that she's going to sell as soon as they're done with it this mm. time. So they're going to go. Um, so I was like, let's try it. Here's what I need you to get done this week. You know, you so send him, did you send him with a pack of condoms, bro? Um, what, to like make balloon animals? <laughs> <laughs> the challenge. What do you put on your head? Oh, the challenge? <laughs> uh, like MTV the challenge? No, I'm not. I, he's pretty responsible along those lines. Um, plus I think mom and dad and grandma are going to be there. So. Oh, uh, I thought they were going off on the, on no, the no, it's not just them. Oh, no, oh, I that's not even a, me too. Yeah, right? no, that's sorry. Not I, 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 it's her, she, her family. They're going yeah, on. it's fine. Um, so yeah, we've just been super busy. I'm working on this other project on the side as well. Um, uh, trying to get it complete. So, um, been, just been busy with that. And now I'm traveling again this week. I actually leave tomorrow morning, but I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back Thursday night. So I'm not. Right. I was only gone last week. I I left on. I had to leave on Sunday because I had a meeting in North Jersey at like nine o'clock. I'm like, well, to make sure I get there on time, I'd probably need to leave my house at four. Yeah, mm-hmm. just to make sure. That. So I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna do that. So and I, I came home. I was home at like eight thirty on Wednesday. So yeah. um, you know, it was four days. Um, just easing back into it. Yeah. It is still kind of strange, but this yeah. week I'm I'm tr- I'm training. Uh, not training. I, the guy who's taking over Pennsylvania is going to ride with me for three days. So we're going to go see some people in Philly that I haven't met yet, and you know, show him all the all the ropes. Yeah, show man. him the ropes. So uh, I think that is it. The ropes on the wrestling rings are bouncy too, right? 
Well, they're not actually ropes. They're steel cables with garden hose over most of the time. That's it? That seems like a little rough. They hurt. I mean, they're they're taught enough. Unless you're working a real shit. Yeah, they show, seem like they have more yeah. give. Because you run at the ropes well, the to, whole, to the bounds. The, the beauty of a wrestling ring is the whole thing's working. Oh, right. Because, uh, I mean, okay. you think about how long those poles are. The poles They have thing. a little flex in them. Okay. Because I, so I thought it was like a bungee cord way to slingshot you into like the clothesline. No, yeah. Yeah. You, I mean, you have to know how to hit them just right. Like, you know, my height, obviously, like the, the rope's going to come right underneath my arm. So you And you grab the rope with your arm and you lean into it. But like right where that hits you on your back, you basically develop a callus there because because huh. you hit it. Yeah. Hmm. Now there's shitbird shows where the rings are loose as hell and you can't. We always ran with tight ropes because it's you know you can you can do more athletic stuff. You throw people through them. So, well, that's that's something. Yes, you can. You can throw them over, in between, underneath, all the. I like when people get caught in it. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been able, and that's a skill to be able to do that because you, you flip over and. Mike McFoley twisted up. Um, Bobby. So, uh, I watched, I watched, I consumed a lot of content this week. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot one thing. Okay, go for it. And I want to be real low key about this, but I watched low key. Okay, so I did too. <laughs> that's my joke for the week. Uh, what did you think about that? Some more time cops? I enjoy it. I, I think so, it's interesting. I didn't like this episode as much as I liked the first. I'm just going uh, to, there's, there's only been two. Only two? Yes, but uh, also, like, I would have guessed that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which Coming is fair. You, Bobby. Which is fair. Um, is Bat Bash still going? Was it done? That's still going. I no one's watching it. No, anymore, it's still though. going. I'm watching it. Bobby's watching it okay. and bitching about it on Instagram. You, you know, oh, yeah, I'm watching it uh, and Do, bitching are, about is it. Is he? Are you? I don't. Mm-hmm. I I go on Instagram. I don't see you bitching about in his stories. In his stories, oh, oh. that's where all the real action happens, Joe. <laughs> the bitching in the story. I don't go on so, Instagram to listen to people's stop stories. All right. I um. I thought it was good. I enjoyed it. Um, I, I'm. Just I didn't hate it, but seeing what's going to happen here. Uh, I like. I, I was. I, the the first episode like kind of had me by the balls, mm-hmm. and this one seemed more like a show to me, like more like a, more of a tickle, like an episode, just like an yeah. episode of a show. So I think that. I think that you know, like when you're in art class, and and that one kid's got that really cool like the gum eraser where you can like it's like you know what i'm talking about it's like that eraser but it's almost like play-doh yeah i, I yeah, used yeah. them yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. so like, like this show is just that kid that's got like a hundred dollars worth of that it's just one big <laughs> oh ball God. so they can just erase things I as needed i agree um I, I mean this is their uh flashpoint i think this may be their flash and it's and it's also opening up the possibilities for the multiverse because theoretically there shouldn't be a multiverse you know what i mean like right so this is a way to, to this set is up the vessel Doctor to Strange explore and Spider Man and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I will say that like while that first episode, I was like, man, like this seems like a one hour movie mm-hmm. that hopefully is in a sequence of eight one hour movies. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. This one seemed like just an episode of television, which is to say it was fine. the 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 villain, for lack of a better term, seems to be a, a female Loki. Um, oh, oh! I think there's fans have be, caught this for years. I then. think there's going to be multiples because remember that scene in the trailer where it's him wearing his his crown, his horns, and there's just a bunch of these random ass goon looking dudes. Yeah, I think that's another Loki again. Yeah, maybe. So I don't it's know. Like there have been chicks been doing it, Lady Loki forever. I, you, I didn't into cons. Yeah, I mean in the comics too. There's a female Loki, but like I, I think that this I have one the is. Marvel Legend. I, I saw someone show a picture. It looks just like this person. On no. They have the one broken Doesn't horn. look anything like her. Are you sure? Yeah, because like, this lady's blonde. Yeah. That was the first thing that threw me off. I'm yeah, like, bl- it, like, it, like I was actually super disappointed with how she looked because I was like, this doesn't look like the female Loki I know at all. Anyway, um, I watched, I finished that Lucy documentary with the chimp. Yes. That shit was fucking heartbreaking. Oh, I'm glad I didn't watch it then because like, I don't need that shit in my life. But it's, uh, yeah. Is this like I, the chimp they taught sign language or so, whatever? So no, so so the story is, is <clears throat> it's actually fucked up like on so many levels. So this, this rich family, mm-hmm. husband and wife, had a chimp because they were involved in kind of science, quote unquote, and there was a study going on at the time about how a chimp would live if it grew up in completely yes. human nurturing environment but it ended up having too much chimp in it you know like you're um i'm not afraid of it uh what is, what is, uh he's just not a he's just not a farmer owen there's too much of his chimp in him yeah <laughs> and um it, it had too much chimp so like they hired this this student to look after it, to help feed it while they were working or whatever and it was in the cage eventually they let the lady go in the cage 
her and the chimp actually ended up developing a bond. They had to get rid of the chimp. The chimp was too out of control. So they found some, like, chimp preserve. Yeah. Like, like island. Rescue sanctuary place. That they were getting, like, a, a place was getting ready to set up. Like, look, here's an island. The, the, the environment is perfect for chimpanzees. We could raise them here. We could put them. We could reintroduce them to the environment, blah, 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 blah. So she goes. She takes this chimp, Lucy. And um, <clears throat> while they're there, like, Lucy obviously feels like, like, phew, man, just you, me, and these apes, huh? Am I right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like us two humans and a bunch of apes just acting crazy. Like, why do they shit in their hand like that? You know, like that, <laughs> that kind of, you know what I mean? Yeah. Eventually, she becomes assimilated into the kind of chimpanzee lifestyle. The lady that, like, takes doesn't want to leave. Like, just wants to live with the chimps. For oh, the, oh, it's the other way around. She yes, wants to be one of the chimps yes. instead of the chimp being one of the people. Forever. Like, she's like, it was the most meaningful, like, experience I ever had. Like, being completely disconnected from she civilization. and fuck apart. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you. <clears throat> there was one male. And the male eventually got older. And all of a sudden, she said they were, they used to go and watch the sunset every night. And they would go down by the sunset, and all of a sudden, like, the, all the chimps just started running into the trees and climbing up. And the one male was just sitting there jumping up and down, like, on some, ah, 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 shit. <laughs> she said the next thing she knew, he went from being 50 feet away to having her by the leg and was dragging her through the jungle. And she got wrapped up in like some thorn bushes and he couldn't drag her anymore. So he let go of her for a second. She was able to get out and she got inside like the kind of office space of the preserve, locked herself in, eventually was able to get out. <clears throat> so she left, but she was like heartbroken, but like she just wanted to go back. And so anyway, like years pass and she goes back and uh, Lucy comes right up to her and just looks at her for a minute and then just grabs her and hugs her for like, 10 15 minutes like just doesn't let go of her and then goes away like as if to say goodbye like thank you for coming goodbye and I, i'm i'm like call my dad <laughs> call my dad <laughs> <laughs> you love the planet ape shit bro you know and then um Caesar. <laughs> so then she said she had this dream that lucy got on an airplane and flew and flew away and she was like i knew she was dead so she called like the government that had set up the preserve she was like can you check on this and they like found her remains and shit and oh like, she's the dream wizard dude in many ways in many ways um but it was like it was heartbreaking man like this lady like she she basically forfeit her life mm -hmm. like f j just because she loved this fucking ape like her and this ape had this connection and she basically said fuck fuck my human existence like i'm just gonna live for this animal you know and like I don't know, it says something to me about bonds and you know, especially w women, you know, and how how able how I, I I admire how women can emotionally connect with something so thoroughly. And also, primates are very close to human, Correct. like especially chimps. They're very close to people. Yeah, yeah. That's why, sure. yeah, I don't like to see them in the zoo. You can look them in the eye and tell that they're. It's like looking at that person. I I, I agree. I agree. Uh, I told you about that one that, that my buddy used to have to drive around. That like used to stop and get cigarettes and shit. Oh, <laughs> yes, dude. Dude, used why? To, why is ch like chimps and gorillas smoking so fucking funny? My buddy Dutch used to work for this zoo, and um, they used to, have to drive this chimp around. It's like um, they it would go out of one one of the places where they were housed, and then like you get in a cage, and then they would like take it around to this other spot. And he, it's not like he was just the only one there. There was other like an older guy that worked there, and like when they would leave, the the chimp would start going nuts. Like, ah! Like banging on the shit, the guy would like pull off into this like gas station, buy a pack of cigarettes, and like give a fucking cigarette to the fucking chimp, just be in the back smoking until they got back. To <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> um. Anyway, pop pop cigarettes, bro. Dude's wild. Um. Fiend. So yeah. Uh. All right. So then what else? Uh. Oh, but that's not the only animal I learned about with it. Like, um, they went over chickens a good bit. Um. I like to go over them with like a nice marinade because there was like. Yeah, I hear you. There was like a lot of, I know it sounds crazy, but there was like a lot of chickens that like lived on this preserve, like wild chickens. What country was this in? I, I can't remember. But do you know why, <laughs> do you know why they found out that like chickens are so like, like, like they kind of go, you know, like tastes like chicken. Like, you know, do you know why that is? Because the Matrix couldn't figure out what chickens taste like. Because! <laughs> so was there really chickens there? No. Okay, nice. I had a bird-related pun. 
<laughs> had a bird related pun sent to me, but I couldn't quite figure out how to work it in. <laughs> because <laughs> Alright, so you need to find a minority to replace me though. That's the thing. You can't just get another white guy. And he certainly can't be bald. <laughs> um all right, so It'd be a different vibe. Yeah. Uh I also watched this documentary called COVID Diaries. Uh, Is that was, about the cruise ship? <laughs> no, so it was on. Uh, it was on HBO Max. That's the one there in New York City, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, and like, it was interesting, but like when when I when I looked at the description, just gonna be honest, it was like people on the front lines of COVID in New York City documenting their experience. Bunch of cell phones, right? Um, yes, which was fine, but I was like, uh, like, I expected there to be a wide range mm-hmm. of you know, uh, service industry people. Um, public transportation. Uh, I was hoping for some fire and EMS and police and emergency room mm-hmm. workers. Nope, just ser- just just service industry. Oh, okay. um, metro people, like people that fix the metro um, or the, the the train subway, I should say, for those not from this area. Yeah, <laughs> um, uh, people that um, delivered food and stuff, and or, which I mean, which was fine. fine. I was just hoping for a more diverse. Uh, Picture, experience, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Uh, so I don't necessarily recommend it. Um, let's see. And then I watched another documentary called Crazy Not Insane. And it was fucking awesome. So it was about this lady. It's on HBO Max. And it's a, uh, she's been studying serial killers for like 30 years. Mm-hmm. And like she, she interviewed Ted Bundy. I love it already. Yeah. She interviewed Ted Bundy. She interviewed, and like one of the, like she's, she's very, she's a very interesting character because she like, she has basically found like there's this one part of your brain, right? That's like, and don't get me, I'm through the, I'm the, what the fuck do I know about it? You know what I mean? But like, like, like it could be fucking called anything. It'd be called the dream, is the responsible for dream wizards. So like, um, they had this one part of the brain, but it's like, it's like it, it's like where you're like like it triggers like when you're sexually attracted to something. It triggers when you're hungry. It triggers when you're angry. Like all kind of base primitive feelings, emotions are triggered by this one spot in the brain. And the people that she was able to kind of analyze all had damage done to this one part of the brain. Now she's not in the boat of saying like 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 you know they're innocent. They're just they're creatures of the very terrible circumstance. She's like, look, lock them up. Mm-hmm. And throw away the key forever. Society is not safe when they're around. <laughs> right. However, let's not kill them because if we study them, we could prevent it in the future if we're able to get a hold of people that display certain attributes and characteristic characteristics early on. So, like, she was a fascinating kind of study of 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 all of these. Killers. So this this documentary was about her life. More it was or about less? her work. Her work. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Um. And it's I I strongly recommend it. Crazy, not insane. And that's what she she calls them. She's like, look, they're crazy. They're not insane. A lot of them know, and like specifically, like multiple personality disorder was like a big part of her like research and stuff because she was one of the people that kind of um, legitimized it. Whereas like a lot of people before before her thought it was like you know witchcraft yeah, thing, or yeah. you know what I mean um, or dream wizards. <laughs> and and um so yeah, I strongly 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 recommend that. And then the last one I watched was Alabama Snake. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> I thought you what, might like it. I can't about believe I don't know about this. this. Um, so, once again, uh, HBO Max. Um, and it's about this guy lived in uh, West Virginia, I think. West Virginia. So No, actually, I could be wrong. Somewhere along the Appalachian Mountains. Could have been Tennessee. No, it was in Alabama. What the fuck? It's called Alabama State. <laughs> what the fuck? He might, I think he might have been from West Virginia originally. Okay, I was going to think. Fuck me. Anyway. He ends up in How the in, mixed up because because the Appalachian Mountains run through all of them, and they end, they even run through Alabama. Uh, it kind of dumps like it, the Appalachians kind of become the Smokies, and then that kind of wanders down into the in the very uh, west or no east northeastern part of the state. So this dude was a badass, like he was a and also a bad seed, hurt people, you know, f- fighting and carrying on, drinking and smoking and <laughs> fighting <laughs> around, around the world, world. and um. <laughs> Like you know, beat some dude mentally ridiculous. Like oh you, you know what I mean. Like like all of a sudden you're walking, talking one day, and the next day it's. Mm, mm, mm. Um, so uh, oh, good. Yeah. So then he became. Then he found God. Oh. And he became like this preacher, like this app, like and, and opened up his own church and started doing all this like charitable work. But he was a, a and correct me as as an Alabama representative, Scott something, Scottsdale. Scott's, Scottsboro. 
Maybe that's it. I'm I'm familiar. <laughs> <laughs> I've spent a lot of time there. So um, he found this uh like so he was a pe- correct me I'm not an expert a Pentecostal Pentecostal yeah. okay yeah. so oh that's the one with the snakes so he's a snake handler ah uh, it's all coming together now he was handling these these rattlesnakes and there's this kind of question as to whether or not so. Long story short, his wife, second wife, says that he took her, held her head down by the snake pit, and was like, put your hand in the snakes, or I'm putting your fucking face in the snakes. And she put her hand in the snakes, it bit her hand, she got poisoned, whatever, like, um, he wouldn't let her call the police, or the um, EMS. One night, she eventually he eventually passes out, she gets the phone, calls EMS, EMS pick her up. But there's like some discrepancies to the story, and like her son is even like, I don't know if I'm buying it. Um, cause she was bit by, I mean, some Alabama shit, but she was bit by like a wild raccoon, like a week before that. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Like, like, well, I, I guarantee you it was something they'd taken in as a pet. Yeah. Uh, and, what, raccoons yeah, just they run did. up and they bite did. They did. They did, actually. They took you it in as a pet. In a pet and he knows about life, see? Yeah, and it was in the same spot. But What are the odds? Yeah, but I'm going to tell you, I think he definitely did it. And I, I, I'll tell you why. The, the Ambo crew, they, they interviewed them, and they're like, they told us as we were coming down, the, down into the street, they were like, no lights, no sirens. And they were like, anybody that says that, we always take it super serious because they got a reason for saying it. So they turned off the lights, they turned off the sirens. And it, that's the only reason why it would make sense that she would want them to turn because she didn't want to wake him up, mm-hmm. you know. So he, whether or not it was a raccoon or the snake, I guess he still didn't want her to get help. Right, you right, know? right. But yeah, either way, that's fucked up. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Well, because you know the good Lord was gonna, you know what I mean? Is because it's like kind of like a mix of Christianity and voodoo, right? Yeah, well, in a way, because it all comes back. They they talk about the passages that it's like relate from like those who have absolute faith take up the serpent and all this mm-hmm. shit. Like there's like they, they they obviously it's all built around you know you, yeah. you isolate the sentence yeah, and just you, find can, one sentence I can that's pull cool. any book out of here and pull a sentence out, Bobby, <laughs> and, and, and just focus exactly. on that one sentence exactly. Yeah. I mean, exactly. like like that. Uh, 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 not necessarily Pentecostal, but very close to Pentecostal is another religion called holiness, um, where the women don't cut their hair and the women wear long skirts. And there's a, there's a line in in uh, in the Bible that is something along that, and a, a woman's hair is her glory. So they took that as you shouldn't cut your hair. It's the end of it. And you know, I mean, yes. I, I, let, let's be honest. This is broad strokes. Our religion is based on what you want to believe out of a certain set of stories. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird how like nobody is focuses on this. like one aspect of it, and it's like was it like a thousand page book, but you like focus on one line on one page, and yeah, I mean, even well, call, let's, call that let's a day. be honest, let's be. Why do we know who Jake the Snake Roberts is? Because he brought a the fucking snake. snake to the ring. Yeah, you get more. Yeah, you know, for sure. Listen, it's definitely everything's a, a hustle. You get more people to come fact. come pay to watch if you got snakes. I must be a the snake oil salesman. I will tell you, I went to church with this. this I was, I was, da- I was, I was dating a young lady whose family was this religion, and wow, I w- went to church with her several times. And and one time, the first time I went, her dad, who it was quite a character, he was funny when he wanted to be, but oftentimes not. He said, uh, "Hey, if you go in the bathroom, just be careful because we keep the snakes under the sink." Yeah, I remember you telling me this. He was kidding, but. <laughs> but you <checked>. not far <laughs> off, right, right, but, right, but right. they were very clear. No, 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 no. That's not us. Right, right. right. You that's our, change, that's you our gotta, sister organization. You got to right. change the name of your church then. At that point, yeah. And uh, the last thing that I did was I, I watched Bad Batch, uh, the mystery character. Who, who was it? Tell us, Rex. Which is fine. If it just fucking. I know, Bobby. <laughs> so surprise! So, you know what's funny? I guess the Mandalorian. That would have probably been my second guess. I, I have I have not gone out of my way to avoid spoilers about this show uh-huh. at all. Yeah, but I have seen nobody saying anything about it. Like, yeah, oh, who gets I, I it? Was Rex was over because Rex is showing up everywhere. See, the thing is, if like if you have the if you ha- if you do the thing all the time, yeah. it's no longer the thing. But, but is he? Hang on. When is this? What does he? What does he look like? Is he beard Rex? Uh, no, because this is like right after Clone Wars. That's right. Okay, never mind. He would have been. <clears throat> Sorry, yeah. I got my timeline. I'll be honest up. with you. I, I think it. I think this show is just a bore. It's it's painful. I'm gonna finish it because it's Star Wars. But if it was anything else, I would have cut it off at the knees. Yeah. Um. And then that's. I mean, that's it. I do have a couple of notes. Uh. Nothing crazy. A lot of DC stuff. Interestingly enough, 
But um, let me see here. So the Sandman is coming to Netflix as a series. They did a little behind the scenes. I don't know if you guys caught that at all. It said live action. Live action. Not the pro wrestler, the Sandman. No, 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 sir. The uh, the DC or the Vertigo DCW. graphic novel. I know. And um, what's interesting is that like, so I've never read it. You know, it's my it's my it's my comic book of shame. Really? I figured you the one that makes that. you a phony. Yeah, it's the one that makes me a phony. I always kind of act like I've read it. Like if I'm ever asked if I read it, I'll say no. But like if I'm around like super comic book nerds and I know they like know their shit and they're like, you know, it's just like in Sandman, how such and such. I'm like, yeah, that's not- <laughs> in my head. I'm like, that sounds just like that. That's just like when, <laughs> that's like that was just like when you found out about blowjobs. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah dude. I thinking about the the way that felt. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway, uh, but it looks interesting. Is this an HBO show? No, it's Netflix. It's uh, episodic, so I probably won't finish it, but uh, I'll, I'll watch the first episode. I can't wait to tell you how I don't like the first three episodes. <laughs> <laughs> first three, yeah. You know what I liked from that? Uh-huh. Uh, Vertigo is, I and I have, I probably still have them. Transmetropolitan. Did you ever read that? Yeah. Trans- Spider yep, Jerusalem. Yep, yep. Yeah. I thought yeah, that yeah, was yeah. a cleverly written A lot book. of those Vertigo books are great, man. Mm-hmm. Um, that was probably the first. Non- Ex Machina is great. It's probably the first non Titan flights I ever read. Yeah, is that book? Yeah, um, I mean, Pride of Baghdad. I talked about all the time. Hunter Bullets. Bombs of a Baghdad. <laughs> that too. I hey, talk don't about don't that pull too. the thing out unless, <laughs> unless you, you plan to bang. It. <laughs> um, so yeah, but yeah, it looks interesting. That what's interesting, like uh, the the main guy, Sandman character, like the guy they cast for it, like definitely, like they couldn't have picked a more perfect. It's like the Margot Robbie. It's like you know what I mean. It's like you. You found this person. <laughs> you found Sam. <Samuel>. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, the only thing that I'm looking forward to from Netflix is a goddamn Gundam show. I don't know when it's coming out. Animated? Live action. Oh, really? Yeah. What about The Witcher? That's going to be on Netflix. Season two, when is that? Uh, then it, it, it says soon. That's all. Mm. Uh, then that, that, yes, I'm super looking forward to that. I love The Witcher series. My next note is, I guess I had to finish season two. Titans season three trailer hit. Um, oh God! You you dropped that like months ago. Yeah, but I'm gonna I'm gonna finish it now. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish it because I want to watch season three because Joker's gonna be in it. Oh, so it's, it's just, wait, you you want to get yourself disappointed? That's what yes, you're yes. So yes. so you have get have something else to be mad about. And let me let me be clear. When I say watch it, I mean passively watch it. I'm gonna put it on while I'm doing things. You know, because I do like that now uh, about like HBO Max and Showtime that like because uh, Netflix, I, like I'm not gonna give them any more money because I'm I'm not overly happy about the service but my kids watch it also so like yeah I, they we can't watch it at the same time unless i pay more money okay so like I, that's why i like about the showtime hbo for one like my wife can watch it i can watch it we can all watch it no problem and for two uh i'm more interested in the content and, and but and for three it's like um like it, it, it i think i don't think netflix minimizes on my phone but no. but hbo does which is nice hmm. um and uh, so I'm going to watch that. Then there's the, the Marvelous Family picture. Did you see that? Uh, Marvel Family for, I guess, Shazam 2. They put up a oh, picture. Oh, see, you said Marvel. Yeah. And I got confused. I did see that. It looks good. Oh, man, I have on a pocket tee today, mm. Bobby, so you can see all the, fucks, like pa- all the fucks I give about that. It looks I like Power in, Rangers. I keep them in my yeah, pocket. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it looks like it looks. I mean, it looks like the Marvel Family. My pocket's though. empty. Also. <laughs> Which, <laughs> a bunch of the same things with their own colors. That's. It hasn't been done before. It's right, literally just repainting toys. Rangers, but I mean, like, but I mean, it's not. It's not a puff suit. That's a. Mo- that's yeah, that, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's, there's definitely changes here. Miss, uh, Cap- uh, Miss Marvel looks. He must have gone through puberty. Miss Marvel's looking all right. She's looking all right. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I, I was excited to see that. Like I said, I, I need less goofy, but overall, I mean, that looks goofy. Yeah, I mean, you can take it seriously. I, I, I'm saying, yeah, just cause looks yeah, like, yeah. I agree. Not just a book of ice cover. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. You can look at it and say that it could be goofy, and I'm okay with it. Even establishing it in, in goofiness, if they now ground it out and mm-hmm. say, okay, like this, these are the rules of the world. The world is goofy. Now we take now it we serious. take seriously. You know, yeah. just like I mean, I feel like that's what Marvel does for the most part. Um, Keen on Keaton. Uh, they showed pictures of uh, Kite Keaton on on a scene of, on the set of the Flash movie. Uh, as Batman, mm. um, he's just as Bruce Wayne. To be fair, um, mm. and they, and they also sort of showed a Supergirl uh, that doesn't look anything like Supergirl to me. But in the wire suit, right? Yeah, yeah, it's not a good picture. But it could also be like you know, it could be Supergirl from the Burton universe. It could be Super, you know, it could be whoever the fuck. I figured it was from some. <laughs> uh, I thought it was from a yeah. WB TV show or CW TV show. 
I said WB. WB. So there's a Flash and Iris together. So that's that's cool. And then. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh does bro, good. bro. It does yeah. feel good, man. I just like Keaton, too. I just I look know. at him. But yeah. I think, I He's think not it, a great fucking I think actor. as you age out as Batman, you should have to play Alfred in the next series of films. <laughs> it looks really weird. That shit looks agree. really weird. I Apparently, agree. she's got some sort of harness on underneath there for some flying nonsense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that also gives her abs. Well, yeah. Uh, she looks. It's, that's just a really weird picture. That's a very strange yeah. costume. Agreed. Agreed on all accounts. I don't know what they're doing on Krypton, but it's weird. Uh, and then the, the aliens after fashion all. choices, strange. And then the very last note is Batman and intermittent fasting. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Are you a fan of both? Uh, so no, I'm actually not a fan of intermittent fasting. I stopped it again. Well, because I did it from November uh-huh. till like two weeks ago, uh-huh. and I was like, it's not doing anything. It was maintaining. Yes, but I was actually eating for the most part relatively healthy. Mm-hmm. So, like, I actually think, like, and I'm not a nutritionist. I'm, it's not my speciality or any of that shit. Of course, it's obviously, also obviously, speciality. Um, but I think well, I cut it down from like two. I was eating from two to eight instead of twelve to eight, mm-hmm. and I was gaining weight because you're eating more. Like, I, I, eating less. No, no, Th- I, I was eating less. That this you talking about? You talking about Dream Wizard now? This is magic. You cannot fucking gain weight if you're not eating more calories. That's just not how it, the human body works. So you don't get mass from nowhere. So I'm. It's all about calories in, calories out. Like if you're in a deficit, you lose weight. If you're in a surplus, you gain weight, and that's it. Intermittent fasting and stuff doesn't do shit for you. All it does is make some people eat less because they they don't have as much time to eat. But for a lot of people, they just fucking eat more when they get to eat because they've been looking forward to eating all day and then just fucking gorge themselves. So, I, I know that you know your shit here. I'm not arguing with you. But I am telling you that my food is regimented. And I am telling you I went for four weeks eating two hours less and eating less food. And I gained weight. And you didn't have any cheat like days how where much you, you didn't did have any you days where you ate pizza. You didn't have any days where you had... Yes, I had days where I ate pizza. The same as I had days where I ate pizza before. And no more. No, no Correct. Because like... So, so, because so when, I, when people thing, talk to me about that and I tell them the track, it always ends up that they are wrong because they are underestimating what they're eating. So, mine was written out. The, the thing about intermittent fasting, you're supposed to hit that, 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 that zone of yeah, dumb. whatever it's called. Yeah. Where it, okay. So, there's this, there's a lot of research out there that I did read. And I'm, like I said, not a sub, just look through it briefly. Mm-hmm. Where they, where it talks about changes in metal, metabolism and due to those sorts of things. And at a certain point, it's, with a calorie deficit, your metabolism can change because your, you, your body can start freaking out that yeah. it doesn't have enough. And I think that may have been what I was going into, only because my shit was staying the same. Mm. So, like, I'm back on, like, just... Regular. Eating regularly and just not and just watching what I eat right. more. That's much e- better. And it's to do that and way. it's fine. Um, but anyway, Batman intermittent fasting is a totally different ball game. Um, dude, my kids are upstairs right now playing wild ass music because um, I can see it. Like, what are they playing? Right this so right this second they're playing uh, Young Costamato featuring T Dot Woo with Like Woo. What the. Oh yeah, I know that guy. Doctor Wu, they love that song. Um, anyway, of all the superheroes, <laughs> Batman has the most self-imposed rules. In almost every incarnation, he refuses to use guns. And the Christopher Nolan movie spent a lot of time exploring his strict no-killing policy. However, as viewers of Batman vs Superman: Dawn of Justice and Justice League will be aware, Warner Brothers and DC will permit him to break those rules on occasion. But now, an interview with Harley Quinn showrunners Justin Halpern and Patrick Schumacher have revealed that there's one line that the Kate Crusader won't ever cross, and it's probably not what you think it is. The rule is that Batman, the Dark Knight, can never, ever go down on a woman. Oh, yeah. That's, I, I, I remember this. This was a hot thing for, for a second. Yep. For a day. You read that, right? Batman is explicitly forbidden from performing Cunnilingus by DC. The story emerged via a variety feature in which we got a peek behind the curtain of upcoming Marvel and DC shows. Viewers will already know that the foul-mouthed, ultraviolet, ultraviolet Harley Quinn pushes the boundaries of what possible in a DC cartoon, but as the creators revealed, there are limits. In the third season of Harley, we had a moment where Batman Batman was going down on Catwoman, and DC was like, you can't do that. You absolutely cannot do that. They're, he, uh, they're like, heroes don't do that. So we said, are you saying heroes are just selfish lovers? And they were like, no, it's that we sell consumer toys for heroes. And uh, it's hard to sell a toy of Batman who's also going down on someone. It's fucking ridiculous. Can you go down on a dude? 
I don't think so. Here's the thing: uh, when Phil posted this, why is this news? Like, well, yeah. First of all, <laughs> yeah, so... it's not like news news. But... No, when Phil, it's ridiculous. My timeline's yeah. been heavy on this when... all for a day for mine anyway. Yeah, I think it, it was a flash in the pan kind of thing. But when Phil yeah. posted this, he said he didn't think it would be an issue if it went the other way, like if Catwoman was going down on him. <laughs> and and I, I'm I'm not sure that that's true. And the only reason why I say that they're tied back to Sandman mm-hmm. is which uh, you haven't read, which I haven't read. <laughs> But I've been around enough people that know about it where I've listened very closely, Joe, so that I can then bullshit my way through the next conversation with them around so that I can also <laughs> act like a comic book character. Did you know the Sandman's in course on night? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I gotta read it. <laughs> um, is that there was supposed to be a masturbation scene with the, the lead character. And what show was this for? This was for the Harley Quinn animated series on uh, HBO okay. Max. Uh, um, that's interesting. And uh, I can't say I knew Batman was even in that show. I didn't. I didn't either. But a lot of people have ranted and raved about that show. Like it, it is a very well regarded show. I just haven't had a chance to to check it I mean, out. DC animated stuff usually is well regarded. That's true. But this is something seems different. To be like, different. Though. Yeah, it is. It's like a, it's, it seems like there's different. It's a different creative energy. It doesn't it doesn't have that Bruce Tim smell on it, um, which is a good smell. Love love to love to smell it. Um, but it's good to smell something different once in a while. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. So anyway, they uh, they said. When they brought the book to DC, the word came down from on top to them. Let me be clear: people in the DC universe do not masturbate. And they said this is the Vertigo universe, and they said which is the subsidiary of the DC universe, and people in the DC universe do not masturbate, which is a male character masturbating. So I don't. I think it's easy to resort, especially in today. To sexism, but I don't think it's that. I think it's just sexual prudeness I in general. I don't is. understand this country and this fucking pretending to be Puritan values when we're not that at all. Why? Why? Why are people still acting like that? Is I, I don't know. I do also find it interesting that this comes up after we've seen things like this from shows like The Boys. Um, you know, some gratuitous superhero things. Also, we just um, live in the real life where fucking people masturbate and go down on each other. Sure. Yeah, sure. I, I, like, I, all the time. Like, but right I, now, look, right now, someone's I'm sucking being, dick right now. If I'm being right honest, second. I, someone's I'm, getting the dick sucked right now. I've yeah. never watched this show, <laughs> but if I was, I, in that context, <laughs> I have no interest in seeing these people do that. Me neither, I, but- but let me, yeah, but I agree. Now, let me also say this. If I want to watch that, I'm, I can find something that's probably a lot more entertaining then, yeah, yeah, then no, not Batman. more gratifying. Oh, also yeah. in the same costumes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably true. so. I, I, I'll tell you what I do find. I, I'll side with you on that. Is that like I planned on watching this with Jaina? Nope. But there now I'm like, I don't know what this show's about anymore. Mm-hmm. I need to proofread this one first. Well, they're going to not have that. They're not going to have that. But, but I don't if know they what were comfortable writing that. One. That season one may have been. And what else did they? Right. right how far right. did they, the boundaries that we're pushing? Where are those boundaries? Which boundaries well, are they? Show rated. I don't know. That that's another thing. I, I agreed, but right. you know, sometimes like, like there's rated R movies that I've had her watch <coughs> with no problem, and then there's right. PG thirteen no, no, movies no, that I would rather her not watch. Oh, okay. Because I'm saying at least it will give you a better idea once you get the rating. It's like where it can from there. It can. Yeah. Um. So like uh anyway, I just think it's interesting. I uh. Like it's, it, I don't know. It's it's one thing to say we don't want that in a show, mm-hmm. right? Or we don't want to depict that because of you know consumerism or whatever. But it's another thing to say yeah, they don't do that in this world. That's right. It, it's not, not. It's not the same thing. The two I agree. are different. I agree. I agree. One's about money, and the other one's about value. Exactly. Yeah, I agree. Um, and then we have a fair amount of and questions. there's a, there's, a, there's a lot of value in in oral sex. Yes, tons. Yes. Uh, we're going to be teaching a master class on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hands-on class. Uh, audience participation. We're going to need volunteers. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so this is from Flanman113. He says, hope you guys are doing well. Was wondering if Joe has ever watched huh? the anime Armored Trooper Votum. I love Armored Trooper. I, I love Armored Trooper Votum, which Heavy Gear, the American um, pen paper RPG and also video games, came from. It is what you call a real-world robot series versus super robots. They're different. 
pretty engaging show that I would recommend to even those that don't watch anime much if you like wartime drama with yep. a dollop of Stanley Kubrick's 2001 Space Odyssey in the mix. Yep. Plus, it's one of the few animes with minimal, tiny voiced characters, which can make me want to buy some rope to hang myself with. <laughs> it's, 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 a it's a serious series. It's a very, s- with anime it's a very serious series. And after listening to the conversation from the last podcast in regards to children's choices these days, I have two ten. Oh, uh, two, I have two ten and under, and it seems to be a constant battle of the screens and monitoring what they watch and the messaging going around on all platforms. My kids are even aware of politics and would get off the school bus and ask if a political character was an idiot or not. And I would ask why they are even worrying about that, <laughs> which is fair. Because like, are you voting? Exactly. And enjoy the ride. Exactly. Um, in the end, I think back when I was a kid and that left to their own will without phones, kids wouldn't care who's the political idiot and what their attra- and where their attractions lie. I may be thinking boomer, but I don't think that's a bad thing. Hope all is well and love the content always. So we just did a, a we had a, a very in-depth conversation regarding this on wine and cheese this past month. Um, that was like, like, you know, like really trying to like, you know, like even asking like, what's the worst that can happen? If you know what I mean, like just challenge, trying to challenge ourselves, and like you know, we just say, okay, all all bets are off. The internet is yours. Go for it. What what's what do we have? You know, where what do we have to lose, basically? Um, and and going through it all. So like, I just I just, I just was saying that as like as I've had some really good conversations mm-hmm. regarding it recently. Because yeah. um, I mean, I, I, you might <clears> not have, but like I had, well, I can never I can't really use myself as like exper- example for many things because I'm not. I'm functional, but I'm not the best example of a human being. But like, I had free reigns on the internet yeah, without supervision. Thirteen, yeah. um, thirteen in nineteen eighty, nineteen ninety three. You had four. when the internet came out. I was in military boarding school with a T one connection. Yeah, but I mean, how, what could you even buff? <laughs> you know what I'm what, saying, what <laughs> like, what well, could I was you... watching all kinds of porn. But I mean, how long did you have to wait for it to load? You just said he had a T one connection. connection. I don't even know what that means. Okay, that that's the difference. It's high speed internet. No, high we had high speed internet. Then. Only like like. But what certain, does that mean? Uh, is, is that, is that I was watching. Is that three G? Is that equivalent like, by 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 eleventh grade? I was watching videos. Of well, porn. I mean, I pictures of porn. Right, but my kid is eight. So I, I, is eight. No, no, no. That's you know what I'm saying? saying. And also, I said I'm not the best example of a functional human being. So. Well, so I disagree with that too. But but I, I you're a highly functioning human being. I'm, you hate yourself hating. That's a separate thing that you need therapy for. But you're a highly functioning human <laughs> with a career and a wife and friends and a uh, good spirit and loving, caring person that I know. And when you talk like that, you're talking about my friend. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> and a lot of tank tops. <laughs> yes. Yes. Now, you don't have a good idea of weather and appropriate clothing for weather. Now, that's something that you could work on. I also don't know what's appropriate for, for <laughs> children. Definitely. I don't know. But, 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 but regardless of any of that, I think that like – you know, we, we talked about that, and just the differences of what Jaina would, you know, because w- we think with Jaina, it's a lot more about curiosity. She wants to understand how things work and why they work. She wants to know the how. Selena is more like me, where she wants to know the why, and the why is more tricky than the how. Like Jaina would be like, okay, here are all the different sexual options as of today. They could change tomorrow. This is what this means. This is what this means. This is what I know what every color in the in the in the rainbow means. I know the corresponding like cultural cues and everything for them. I have an understanding of that base knowledge, and now I can move on with my day. Selena's like, well, I'll try a bit of that, <laughs> and maybe a bit of that. Like you know, Selena's more that way. Well, like, they're, also, they're also a different age group, right? Correct. You know, maturity. But is I mean, just different. but Jane has always been that way. Mm. You know, like we we talked about it a bit there, and I don't want to rehash too much of it, but like just like we talked about here, like. You know, she would get into sharks. She didn't know all the different types of sharks, what type of food they ate. What's a, and then, like, as soon as she has a base understanding of it, she's good to move on to the next thing. Like, she's just like, she's like a, um, like, I don't know, like one of them, like, alien things that comes down, like, like, sucks all the information, knowledge out of something, and then, like, moves on to the next thing. And, like, you know, whereas Selena is like, she's, she's more easily, uh, um, not, in, uh, not inspired, but influenced. Influenced. Um, you know, and she's, She's more that she's just the people are fucking different. Kids are yeah, wired different, yeah, and uh, you know. And I think it is like he said. Like I think it's. I, I just think technology and and the access to technology has put things on kids in mm-hmm. that they wouldn't have necessarily had to worry about or mm-hmm. think about or. Yeah. You know, and some of that is like you know, if she wants to know, you know, what your King Tut was. I learned a little bit about King Tut. King Tut was trash as a pharaoh. <laughs> he was a trash pharaoh, and it's the reason why he's so important. Is because when they when the people went in and like robbed all the fucking pyramids of all the shit, 
they didn't touch his because they didn't even know his was a pyramid because his pyramid <laughs> was so trash. Wow. So, they, so they took everybody else. So when they that's excavated, funny. King touched it. All of his shit was like intact. That's why. So that's I, why he's so famous. That's why I was able to go to Memphis when I was a kid and see all his shit. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But um, I think I think that well, also put a lot of stuff on parents because like well, that's a, yes. you, like you have to do so much more to secure it. Everything becomes work, and also it becomes harder when like. If you don't work at it, you can easily fall out of touch with technology. Mm-hmm. And if like the people, who, parents who aren't technologically savvy, is going to have a real hard time modeling well, the kids. Correct. I, I'll liken that to popular music. Like I used to keep up with popular popular music. I didn't for like three months one time. No clue lost. what's going on. I'm lost. Yeah, and it's easy to catch once you're lost in any department. It's hard. To- it's easy to catch a case of the fuckets. Yes. Yeah, it is. Well, I, I'll tell you. Like, I mean, my kids use the internet. Like. I haven't had any disasters. I'm not saying that, you know, something could happen, but I, I Kelly and I have this, they're going to find out one way or the other. So, yes. From a friend or some dipshit on the school bus. All true. Like the way most of us learned yeah. a lot of yeah. stuff. I mean, that's and how now I learned. It's all true. But how do you I don't know about blowjobs, Bobby. <laughs> a buddy. A buddy a <laughs> exactly. But, but that was a straight up answer, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like see, the thing <laughs> is, is like, like I know, I, I, I don't have any sort of, you know, veil of ignorance that like uh, like they're going to say their prayers every night and always eat the yeah. appropriate form of vegetables and you know what I mean uh, just like their dad correct just like yeah. their dad um, it's ketchup a vegetable <laughs> tomatoes it's fruit I don't know True. it's got seeds it's tricky <laughs> it <is> true. uh, <laughs> ask- <laughs> I know that was such an honest like train ask- of thought <laughs> Thomas Thomas Jefferson sort of all out. Um, but anyway like I think that like uh, I if 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 it's if it's a matter of curiosity and sex is the conversation, I don't necessarily want Pornhub being the educator. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I understand that's, that. That's different. Yeah, different than your friend. Correct. Uh, so uh, next one is from Kevin R. Uh, he said, "Trolling along, singing a song. What's up, my motherfuckers? So what I am up? dealing with my own troll on one of my business ads. I did, however, look up where the micro McDick lives. He is local, and I considered going by and introducing myself. How do you guys deal with the troll bowl of human shit?" Uh, he said, P.S. My 14 year old lost his shit on the way to work at my shop today, working with his old man, hearing Bobby talk about his lower back pain and dick reduction surgery. <laughs> he will steal this and use this as his own. <laughs> my, my pleasure, young sir. Um, <laughs> trolls. It's, it's different when it's business, right? Because he says it's on his business. Mm-hmm. So I don't know how you handle it. But like mm-hmm. in regular life and like on Twitch and in social media, like the best thing to do is just ignore. Yeah. Like, by giving him any attention, positive or negative or otherwise, that's what trolls want you feeding him. Yep. Like when you ignore them, that's the worst thing you can do. Yep. It's true. It's true. And I'm and I Point say to them, yeah. and I say that in the same breath that I would tell you don't drink. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I would say that in the same breath as saying don't eat a whole pizza by yourself. <laughs> and don't smoke. <laughs> and don't fucking masturbate <laughs> at an ungodly volume every day. <laughs> but like, you know, these are like uh, basically while as, you're reading DC comics. <laughs> say as I say, not as I do because I do engage sometimes. Um I tr- I'm better about it and I think I get a little bit better every year and I'm working on me, but the best way to do it is to ignore or delete and block. I don't know if that's a, like you said, I don't know if that's a... Yeah, it's a, different for business than no, I will tell you, it is, It is. if it's someone that's left a review, those are very hard to circumnavigate yeah. through and around. I had a guy leave me a nasty review for Crashbox for, I, I didn't even buy anything from me. Like It was a situation where like, the guy wanted a price for this project. This is back when I was still taking commissions. And he wouldn't like tell me exactly what he wanted. And I finally said, look, man, if you want to just put, give me a deposit to hold your spot. And when the time comes, we'll figure out what you, he got super offended by that. And then went on this rant and, and like comment. It's funny. I think it's still there, but like, I think 20 people comment underneath this basically telling this guy you're more on your own. But like if, if it's a, a brick and mortar, I don't know what his business is, but if right. it's, if it's a brick and mortar issue and. I mean, it's hard to, to navigate that. I mean, it, it, dude, if you know where the guy, just go by his house. Just the, say, hey, the man, question also is like, just uh, want to touch s- base with you about this issue. Ah, you're be having. careful, though, man. Or just you know, can call know him. thyself. Yeah. Know thyself. Like, the, it's like the question is: Do people use reviews? I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm an outlier in things. So I don't. I know. look at do, reviews do for people still use Yelp. So people, people definitely use, use that. Them? Okay. Definitely, because like, I know on, on eBay, on like TripAdvisor, all that shit. No, on 
curated things like eBay, like like a, through a third party platform, right? The rating system, like on eBay, you can look at someone's rating, oh. and you, or you can look at the comment itself. It's right. like oh, they got eighty nine point nine percent fucking positive. That you can see why, right? So like Yelp is a different story. People just say whatever the fuck they want. Well, the thing about Yelp and and, and stuff is people because like uh, food was great, but the portions are way too big. One star, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, like I don't, that. I don't really look at ratings anymore. When I, you know, I mean, and I, it may be something. Let's say he's selling uh, markers. Uh, went to the went to the store and they didn't have any highlighters. One star. Well, it's not a highlighter store, right? You I know, think and I don't know the exact. So, but also, like, yeah, if you would give us a l- example of like how they're trolling, it might be able to answer a little bit better too. That's true. I think that. Um, just to give my wife as an example, who I kind of think is like she is kind of n- a normal person. Uh, yeah. That's like, you oh, know, she's maybe one of the most normal people I know. Actually. Yeah. So, like, she reads all the reviews for if, like, if we're going to try a new restaurant, oh, if we're okay. going to buy a new product, she reads all the reviews. But in the same time, she's reading the reviews and also saying, like, oh, this person said this, but then underneath, you know, somebody a comment, you know, like maybe like sometimes. Some of the review platforms, like if somebody's you can like, reply, yeah, they reply, yeah. and like, and let's say it was the crash box thing that was the thing, they'd be like, "We checked our records, sir. We don't have anybody that ordered anything under your name, but if you're willing to contact us an email, I'm sure we could work something mm-hmm. out." And like, then you could tell, okay, this person is just an angry customer. Yeah. Like the the average consumer, I think, is more savvy than we give them credit for, and yet sometimes not savvy enough for other times where we give them too <laughs> but, much credit. But, but that's, that's what the aggregate aggregate score is good. Like when it's like four and a half out of five, you know, like it's good. Right. Like if it's one out of five, that's it's right. definitely not good. Right. I mean, I'm gonna be honest on eBay. Ever since it's basically you, you know, you you can't lose financially on eBay. I I very rarely look at at the feedback what for for other like because oh no I just look at the stars. Money. Yeah, I just look at the percentage. Oh, I don't even because like if it's under, I'm more like, interested in the product a lot of the time mm-hmm. than I am the service. Because you're you're gonna end up getting either bad product or bad service if it's like under ninety or something. You know, like most people don't because most those stores get lost because people don't buy from people who are under 90 plus percent. Right. Yeah. Look up the uh, reviews for Dream Wizard. (laughs) You know what? I will. (laughs) Maybe fun. Um, Where is it exactly? Rockville, Maryland. Uh, Shane G. Oh, boy. Writes this back. He says, uh, uh, four stars out of 298 comments. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Best play to play magic, of course. It's a magic great yeah. selection. Host tournaments, like it's, these are all magic people. He said, uh, "So I've always been curious about this, and I've always wanted to know the answer. What made you want to start reviewing?" In Three my stars on Yelp. In my opinion, you're one of the more objective ones out there. I've just been curious what got you into it. Uh, also, I've been drinking, so it might come across a bit chatty. <laughs> um, uh, Shane's a good dude. So, uh, in, in short. It was, uh, I was on a podcast, people on that, that were listening to that podcast wrote in and said that, that they valued my opinion on that podcast, which got to me throwing the idea around of maybe I'll start reviews and then the co-host of that podcast was like, you should definitely start reviews. And it was that like kind of confidence boost that came from the listeners of that show mixed with myself being a consumer at the time and finding a lot of the reviews about the products being inconsistent with my experiences with the products. <laughs> We're just um, like talking about reviews. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then that made me want to kind of be that that voice that was more consistent to my experiences. And for better or worse, I do think that it's changed because the reviewing landscape out there now is not the same. It's yeah. not just glowing review after glowing review. Like, and, and did I, you change the trend, I, Bobby? I would like to say that I had. I, I don't. I can't. I'm not going to take credit for it. But I would like to say, if I could have any bit of impact, that that would be my impact. At least, you, at least you like the first in the wave of this new type, like all yeah. more honest reviews. But yeah, what's Dream, up, Dream Wizard? That's a lot. <laughs> There's either five star complaints of the regulars, and then uh, did you look at the? I looked at the worst ones. They're, yeah, yeah, they're all like, like I oh. hope you can hold your breath for a long time. This place smells disgusting to the point where I waited in the car while my husband runs in. Well, <laughs> the one I got is don't That's go in. Just don't. They only cater to Magic players. Don't like, go in there looking like, for Yu Gi Oh. Exactly, <laughs> and like the, this place stars. anime anime this place advertises the anime. There's no anime in there. But I can see if you, if you were like the one was like the this place smells awful. I just wait in the car while my boyfriend goes in. Like if you're a dude and you're looking for a spot, like you know the vibes. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. you're like you're, you're, that, that's not going to turn you away. Oh, it's going to smell like uh, gonna, oh, it's going to smell oh, like it's my gonna, people. It's going to smell like <laughs> pork rinds and matches. Oh, grandpa's basement. Um, uh, he also said this. He said he said moving on. Uh, 
so I had something come into my possession recently, and it blew my freaking mind at how much I enjoyed it, and even now, a full series DVD set of Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future, which isn't a huge set, because it's one damn disc. <laughs> right. I remember that. <laughs> I remember as a kid yes. having the toys, and I'm pretty sure you guys have mentioned it on the show before, but I've drank since then, so I don't remember. <laughs> Any of you guys remember this show or the yep. toys? I always I enjoyed the video cassette missions. Yeah, yeah. I did also... Um, Chris, I started picking up the AEW figures too. Nice. Good figures right there. Super excited that I have an Orange Cassidy figure in my collection. Dude, yeah. I, I watched the show when I was in Hong Kong. I love this shit. I didn't know what the, this is what it's called. Yeah. Okay, hang on. Let's let's go on to this Captain yeah, Power thing yeah. first. So I loved Dude, it. Dude, it's like Centaurians. Yeah. yeah. I, I, oh, so Power I loved, Rangers. I, I loved it too. You know who my, my favorite was? The bad guy that looked like a pterodactyl face. They were like they were like the drone. They were like the stormtrooper. Oh, yeah, of, yeah, 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 yeah. And it had, like, and it had wings. It was a cool character design. This is great so for it the used, time. It used, yeah. oh, it used the, else um, like this. the same technology as um, uh, Duck, Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So you shot the TV and it shot it, back. You can get yeah. you can get a Sauron Sky Sentry for seventy one twenty four. Yeah, that, that's him. That's guy. pterodactyl. Yeah. You want, you, yeah. Is this your new line, Bobby? Have yeah, you found a new line to collect? No, I don't want. Are that. you sure you don't have a shelf, <laughs> a little Billy shelf right there? I don't want. That. Are you sure? <laughs> if they did, I have a floating shelf on the top. If they did some sort of updated version, I might get one. But they did. Uh, I remember they oh, did. Tell Super Seven. They did some guerrilla <laughs> marketing, and that would be like the ads were like this. It was like this fuzzy VHS tape. But, uh, I've only got a second uh, to tell you, and it was like the yeah, lead character kind of pitching yeah, you the whole yeah, story. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the computer the graphics. graphics. The graphics. But that was great, I, though. I never, I can't. I'm sure I saw the toys in the store, but I never had any of them. I had one, and I don't, I don't know of anybody. Dude, who had you can get them. this for seven dollars, Bobby. But I'm, why is the store on seventy one dollars? Face is seventy one bucks. Listen, Nerd Rage, Nerd. We don't have a name for our oh, co- our community. What should we call it? The Nerd Rage Universe. Is that a bit much? Uh, or, uh, uh, the Ragers. Uh, listen, Ragers. Um, <laughs> Bobby needs a mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Raging no, please don't do that. Uh, mighty nerdy Power Rangers. Power Rangers. So, <laughs> so let's just stick uh, with Ragers. Ragers. Uh, Bobby needs a Captain Power uh, collection. <laughs> so please uh, message me for his address. If you find it in Grandma's basement, I'll, I'll keep a checklist, and we can. Uh, now, listen, I'm not paying you for it. You're gonna. This is gonna be a crowdfunding free. thing. But Bobby needs a full collection. <laughs> Pterodactyl fit. Petition to whatever your favorite toy company is. Actually, figure arts, maybe. <laughs> and, and ask them to get the license for it. I'm sure you can pick up the license for $5. Yeah. Dude, I bet you there. I bet you. I don't know where to look for that, but I bet you there's some licenses you can literally buy for oh, like yeah. 100 mm-hmm. bucks. It was funny. Laura was down here the other Do day. Do it. Speaking of mm-hmm. SH Figuarts, she was like, what's going on in this shelf? And I was like, SH Figuarts Knights are in. She's like, when are they coming out? And I was like, I don't think they ever are. <laughs> <laughs> um, what did you say about the wrestling stuff? Uh, just that he he liked the figures. He was happy that he had that one. And then he said, "Have have you seen Mob Psycho? Watch yes. the first episode. Same not, with uh, same creator as One Punch Man. Not sold just yet. I respect Keep your watching. opinion on anime. So any insight no, helps. That's good. It's, yeah, it's I think Mason. Great. I think Mason watched that too. He enjoyed. If you, if, especially if you like One Punch Man, same energy. It's it's really good. That's what's up. And then he says, uh, lastly, just to put the cherry on the Sunday, I'll leave you guys with this. After sitting and reflecting on the whole scenario play out in my head in my home, uh, the the curly cues. He said, it made me really sit back and think about who I truly want around me in a close personal circle. I truly value friends in my life because I don't have much of a relationship in the way of family aside from my wife and daughter. So this has really got my wheels turning on things. Some real self-assessment going on. Can you guys remember the last time you went through that? What sparked Every it? Every fucking night. I know this last bit got heavy, but hey, it's nerd rage. You never know what you're going to get. Keep up the great work. It's true. Like examined your circle? Yeah. Oh, oh I mean, I can tell you, I got it I mean, myself. I thought I mean, it meant self-reflection. But yeah, I can tell you. I mean, it was Adam. I mean, Adam is at the, the the, you know, and this is not. I'm not shitting on a dude. I'm not, you know, but just objectively, that series of events rocked my foundation of trust, friendship, uh, paranoia, uh, a number of things. It it has done a number on me, of which I still haven't recovered. Um, and certain things make it more challenging to recover. But, uh, like, yeah, like, dude, uh, you know, that it's, 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 it has changed, it has, it's changed my world, that, 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 that series of events. Uh, and I'm, and I'm not sure grossly for, I think there's some benefits that have come, come out of it in terms of how I view people. Um, I, but I think it's probably a net negative, ultimately, mm-hmm. impact wise. 
I mean, I, I'd say that, you know, I have a pretty broad circle of friends with, you know, the hobby and everything in the realm. Um, but before that, I mean, I can think of people that I was, you know, friends with, maybe a work associate or something that, you know, you know how it is. There's always going to be that when you leave a job, there's always that one guy that like always still call. Hey, what's up, man? You know, you have nothing in common anymore because yeah. you don't work there. That's what uh, Facebook is for. And then sometimes those people are into some shit. You're like, Param- oh, parents scheme. They ever call you? Be like, I have a business opportunity for you. Oh God, <laughs> dude, you come on. Have Everybody you, gets those. Have you ever tried these knives? <laughs> <laughs> I work for this company. They bought a whole bunch of steaks. Now they don't want them. I got a whole truck. <laughs> That's right, man. Listen. Uh, <laughs> have you My guys- wife bought money. I was so fucking mad. I came home and I was like, what are, oh, look at these trash ass steaks. You no, know, there there were guys, and I don't know if they do it here. They literally had somehow wired like a deep freeze, like the one I gave you, mm-hmm. in the back of a pickup truck. And we're driving around. Hey, man, listen. Uh, you know, we provide steaks for all the main restaurants, restaurants. around here. They over they over ordered, yeah. and we just got to move these before we go to the next town. Yep, we had them here too. Yeah. So what? Somebody's friend out there is doing that. <laughs> do you have anything for this one? No. Well, I, my life. I've I've been very transient in life. And I have abandonment issues from moving a lot. And um, what ends up happening is, as a defense mechanism, I abandon people before they abandon me, right? So, like, I have have shifted many groups of friends, um, either because they have left or because, like, I feel like they're going to leave, so I leave, right? I say that to say this. This this table has been the most longest stable thing I've had in my life. Mm. We've, I've been well, here for how many how many years now? I, I've lost track. Five, six. Pro- I mean, I'm trying. I think probably five. Yeah. Um. I haven't. I've. I mean, I have close had close friends here and there, but like none that stuck around this long. Like uh, my best friend from um, pharmacy school. It's, we're still good friends, but it's not the same when he's in California. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But so this has been the most like treasured, uh, I think, friendship I had in my life. I will tell you, I have had to, I have had to check myself on shit, like because <clears throat> because of this recent situation that I that I went through, mm-hmm. where something will go on with a friend of mine. I'm I'm sure it has happened with both of you since then for me, and I know for a fact it's happened with people at work and et cetera, where something will happen, and my gut instinct is they're gonna fuck you. Mm-hmm. Watch them. Mm-hmm. Watch them. They're on you. Like, and then I've had to, like, my super id or whatever has had to come in and be like, wait a minute. Not everybody's out to get you. This, you know what I mean? And, and not to say that that's a rational thought, even based on that, just to say that, like, it has been a changing, it has changed me, you know? Uh, so that's definitely mine. Uh, but that's, I think, all I want to get to regarding that here. That's more of a wine and cheese thing. Um, Anything else that you got? From, okay. So from Tim R., but thank you for the question, Shane. And sh- uh, I did buy those Predacons off of Shane. Nice. Uh, but they have not yet arrived. Oh, come on, Shane. <laughs> no. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> don't drop the you're at, you're no, at, you're no. at the You're at the goal line, buddy. Don't he drop got, the ball. He got him out, he got him out uh, quick for me, and, and I appreciate, you know, he, he gave me a good price. Uh, perfect. So no issues. But anyway, he, uh, from Tim R., he said, getting the Robotech Master spinning pod tape. Oh, yeah. So, so yeah. So I want to shout this dude out. He said, I'm getting the Robotech Master spinning pod table. What kind of paint would you use to paint it for a beginner? I He hit me up on Instagram about this. And I was like, look, there's a lot more guys that have a lot more experience and talent with things of this nature. Let me see. what it, I'm not familiar with what this is. So I'm guessing it's this thing. I'm going to look up the, what the model looks like. What What is it called again? Uh, so he sent two. Oh, here, here is the product that I want to paint. Oh, okay, great. Um, and I'll shout him out real quick to, uh, uh, so there now I'm going to turn it to you next, Joe. Uh, so it's a 3d, it looks print. like a 3d, a 3D printed 3D print. Mm-hmm. So I mean, what you're going to want to do first is get some uh, primer, some filler, uh, some primer. filler primer to go. It's going to be in the automotive section of like Walmart, um, or uh, auto parts store. It's a thick paint. You're going to put it on really. You're going to paint it like Bobby paints details. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to sand it, you know. You probably want to want to sand it with the the depending on the quality of the three D print. Yeah, and from there, I mean, you just you're going to want to use acrylics um, mm-hmm. over that once you know you're done with the prep work and you're happy with it. Um, Easiest to work with. Like, yeah, whether you buy high end acrylics like um, the name eludes me. Vallejo. Vallejo. There you go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or go to. I use Vallejo. 
Or go to your, uh, that's what, yeah, Vallejo, huh? <laughs> um, or go to Flex your friendly them. Walmart and get some <laughs> Apple Barrel. And then you're going to want to seal I it. Use that too. You can probably seal that with a matte, like a Rust-Oleum matte spray if you want it to be matte. If it's supposed to be glossy, they make a glossy version. Mm-hmm. I usually go with satin. That usually goes with most things. That's actually what we use to, to finish all our stuff, mm-hmm. is a satin. So um, I hope that helps. Uh, and his, that's we know this dude because he's uh, NJCC. Uh, okay. His, uh, his uh, Instagram is T15 underscore Transformers T. Okay, right on. Um, and let's see what else. Uh, not much left. Uh, but we did get a lot this week. Well, thank you for your questions. Yeah, and thank you And you can send those to... DirtRaceRadioMail at gmail.com. Yes. Very good. Yes, that's the one. Uh, all right, so this is from Archer. Uh, morning, guys. Sitting here at work on Friday and listening to this week's episode and had this realization off of another listener question. Uh, Sean Pertwee from Gotham was also a solid Alfred helping young Bruce with training, teaching, and mentoring. You get a bit of his background, also a couple quips towards Bruce, but a solid entry. Jeremy Irons will now and always be my favorite. I still think that there are parts of the Justice League that were good, mainly Alfred and his interactions with everyone. Love his quips and attitude throughout the movie. It's a different kind than the Michael Caine. Yeah, Michael Caine's more classic. I feel like I agree, more like a grandpa. Like, but uh, but I told you that uh, that trainer that shit is, is what grabs me from. But uh, love his quips and attitude. He said, "Still love him in the Snyder cut," but we all know that it was a superior movie. Michael Caine almost forgot the E makes a solid filler in between Irons and yeah, the eighty nine guy. Uh, a little older and wiser, still feels Bruce needs his knowledge, and his quips are comfortable and well placed. Uh, Michael, go gal, go. Jesus. Will always be the face I see when someone says Alfred. Doesn't feel the need to tell Bruce anything that he hasn't twice before, and there is nothing like picturing old elderly Alfred in a tailcoat beating the shit out of Superman. Oh, who, who is that then? I don't know. Who, maybe that's the uh, the animated series? I don't know. Well, the animated series Alfred is what I think of first. When I picture yeah. Alfred, he comes up. Michael Caine for me. I mean, Michael Caine's my second. Yeah, Michael Live Caine. action, he's my first. I think 89 Alfred might be the first thing I think of. And then I don't Michael even remember Caine. what Alfred for, like 89 Dude, Alfred looked glasses. like. It's peachy swell, sir. It's supposed <laughs> like to I, be cold. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know, but like I can't, like, I, I couldn't pick him up a lineup right now. Uh, he said, just my thoughts. Love the show. Can't wait to get back on the Patreon. Missing wine and cheese and the uncut shows. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, we can't wait to have you back, Ryan. Uh, Ibuka says, afternoon, Nerd Rage crew. Two, two questions today. What, with all the tank, uh, with all the talk about art recently, what are some elements that draw you into someone's art style? Is it color palette, anatomy, line quality, etc.? Just what clicks with you? Uh, that's it's, it's different. <laughs> depends on the picture I'm looking at. Right, depends on what genre I'm looking at, too. And sometimes some of them might catch my eye that I didn't know I needed to see. You know, it's hard to say. I will tell you with me, the two things that you normally at this point in my life it hasn't always been the same. I think when I like when I was in the 90s and like that era, like it was just the, the beauty of it, the vibrancy of the colors and like the the kind of perfection of anatomy mm-hmm. where I didn't appreciate exaggeration until mm-hmm. far later well, on. Like I, it, on that same note, uh, probably the same, but like I. I love Mike Mangola's style now. Right. And I, I used to think, what is it? That's all. Why is this? The whole page is black. It's But groovy. now I'm yeah. like, the subtlety it's of it? Agreed. Yeah. It's fucking brilliant. So now what usually attracts me to something is drama. Drama and. Putting emotion in it. Yeah. yeah like, yeah. when you feel. That's like, why I like a lot of Jay Lee stuff so much now, is that, like, I just feel like it's, like, so strikingly dramatic. Like, um,. There's this one that's like that's I always go to like Wolverine jumping and it's like I just I feel movement in it and like mm, but the gesture, dude I, I can't it's his use of shadows like you same same thing. Um, the other thing that kind of strikes me these days is concept, like especially in pinup art, concept really mm. hits home with me. So like there's this one, uh, he's an artist, he's like an artist alley artist, but like one of the big ones, you know the you know the, the one ones. with a huge there, there's, there's, spectrum there's, there's, there's and the lights yeah. and there's yeah. sounds and there's you know what I mean they they got this shit together, uh, and I think he's done professional work as well. Don't get me wrong, but it's Anthony or no Nathan Cizerdi or Zerdi, it's like S Z E R D Y doesn't matter, um, except for the sake of props and credit, which I hope he knows that I'm giving to him. I'm pretty sure he knows. Yeah. Um, <laughs> He did like this this picture of uh, Joker and Harley, I believe. In my mind, it gets fucked up because it's been years since I've seen it now. I'm going to buy it the next time I see it. Joker and Harley getting married, and the Bat family are there, like tied up as like the groomsmen and bridesmaids nice. and all that. Like, you know, like yep. in 
like and it's like the concept of it is what draws me to it and then it also has some drama and it. it's very it's a black and white piece and uh stuff like that so i think that's i think drama and uh and concept are what really grab me these days it's, it's because um it's, it's different not only because i think maturing in taste but also because of the internet and because of a prolific artist alleys and cons are good art or good beautiful pictures our dime a dozen now. Yes. They were not the same yes. in the 90s, right? Especially like now, if you just look up picture on Google, you just see pages and pages of beautiful art. Especially when Top Cow seemed like the only ones that knew how to buy Photoshop at the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so nowadays, for something to, like, everything will catch my eye, but something to catch my attention mm. it has to be the mm-hmm. mood. Mm-hmm. Something something that speaks yes, to me. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, mood is another, mood is what I mean when I'm talking about drama. Yes, yeah, 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 same thing. Yep, 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 for sure. Um... He has an, a two-parter. The other one was: are, are there times where you have to set a requirement before engaging with a piece of media, whether that whether that be the format it's in, who's making it, or the characters are, or, or the what characters are in the media? For example, with all the Thor four news going around, I will only watch Thor the four. movie if Beta Ray Bill is in there, just because he is my second Marvel character. Only behind Daredevil, who helps me vent my Catholic angst. <laughs> um, with, I, I, dude, I know the wow. vibes a little bit. Um, without him, there is nothing else that Thor 4 is really offering that I care much for. Um, tried to keep this as concise as possible. That's about it. Thank you for your time. I don't I don't think so. Me either. Nah, I don't, I don't make myself qualify media. I don't think so. I already so. Lim- have I mean, such limited listen, what, time for Bobby, media anyway. Three episodes, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> three, in, three in, three out. That's it. Um... But yeah, I don't think so. I think that I like. Uh, there's very few things that I'm like, like especially something that's so specific. You know, like I think that in in uh, like if it, like if I if I knew that a certain creator was doing something, I might not be as in a rush to see it or excited or about seeing it, yeah. or vice yeah, yeah, or vice versa. Yeah. Um, but I don't think there's anything that's so specific where you know, uh, like yeah, without going down a further rabbit hole. Yeah, uh, and then possibly the last one uh, from Nathan P. How's it going, NRR crew? Long time listener, second time caller. Thank you for the thoughts and advice given on my last question last week. Anywho, seeing how the media we consume always influences us on some level, I was wondering what have been some media that have influenced you. Could be any form of media and form any point in your life. To give a personal example, ever since Bubba began seeing Love to See It, Love to Hear It a couple of episodes ago, I repeated the saying to family and friends. Now it has become a regular saying among some of my friends. My, my, my whole family says it now. You know, love to, like, A new game. Love to play it. Like, you know, like, um, love to hear y'all's thoughts on this, and thank you for reading my question. Love the show, and keep up the good work. Y'all take care and be safe. Thank you. Um, I mean, I, I, I definitely had influences. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, hip hop has been a major fucking influence in my life. Like, I was just having a conversation with a buddy of mine recently, who's like, you know, kind of a casual fan, like some songs here and there. And um, he he asked me to send him the DMX episode because he's a, he was a DMX fan. And uh, he was like, he was like, what is that point that you made in there about rap and hip hop? And because I, I feel like sometimes hip hop fans can get. Uh, you know, like very target B about how they, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Um, and to me, it's very simple. Like rap is the music and hip hop is the culture. Like rap is something that's a part of hip hop, but hip hop is the culture. And I think like I relate to that culture. I've, it's always been a part of me. Everything that I do ties to it somehow. Like the way I reach for a glass is like, it's like every, it's like, it's a part of my, my DNA almost, you know? Um, but I mean, other things like, a uh, fucking, uh, you know, I've Nori in the fucking makes noise for this. Like I, I was definitely, you know, I, like I'll, I'll borrow bits and pieces from anybody who I think is great. Um, in in you know, just out of same thing. Like you hear something enough, and it just becomes part of your something own vernacular. Connect with, yeah. Um, but I'm trying to think about anything else. Please feel free to chime in if anybody else has anything. Uh, but I mean, I'm try- trying. Trying. I'll often go looking for like if I'm in a creative slump, I'll go looking for inspiration. Like I'll put on a Lord of the Rings or some other mm. medieval yeah. shit, or you know, like uh, the Expanse. I think has influenced me a lot. The, the design work I like, and you know, uh, the thing that happens to me often is I'll find inspiration in something and then want to uh, consume and own everything related to it. Yeah. So. It's, <laughs> There's not a lot of expanse stuff, thank God. <laughs> I had a uh, by the ships. I would love to buy the ships. They I had like Lego plans for them, three feet, <laughs> three feet long. Really? Mm-hmm. To build the ships in the expanse. I had a um, I had a guy that was like in my life 
uh, I mean, I still know him and talk to him, but he was like a, a mentor type of character in my life around 27, when I was 27, 27 to like 32, that like was very much influential in shaping me into an adult man. Like uh, hmm. a lot of the things that he would say, like, you know, like about work ethic and about getting shit done and about not bitching and about things like that. But, like I still was like g- super influenced by it sometimes to my detriment and and have applied to my life. But I think most of, you know, with very few exceptions, you know, obviously I, I'll pick up a phrase here and there from somebody that I, I'm a fan of. But um, most of my influences come from the people that I, I yeah, interact around. with or yeah. came up with. You any anything that stands out? I don't think so. I mean, I'm just my entire life is heavily influenced by anime, but that's a very broad thing. Yeah, even your haircut. Yeah, especially. especially <laughs> and I mean, haircut. dude, I, like I'll tell you, like I had some. Um, <clears throat> I went through a period of my life that I, I had to do a lot of like f- physical stuff, and uh, when you learn your limits, your physical limits, it's a it's a humbling experience, and I, I it's hard to put yourself. It's hard to put yourself there. It's like you had to be forced into mm. it. And uh, there were times where I felt like my tank was empty. And I would say in my head, Batman would push on, you know, and I would try to find a little extra juice in the tank. That's, like to, yeah, that's yeah. going like in for me. Like, yeah. It drives my life motivations. Yeah. Half baked, the movie, that's me. <laughs> yeah, I, Fuck I, I, you. That sounds better. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're cool. Fuck um, you. And that's it. Uh, so thanks no for all the KFC? questions. No KFC. No KFC this week. What's going no, on? No, no palsy. No palsy. No palsy. He's, he, he's, Did you send him the neurorex? Well, no, but he's I have not as of yet. But he is taking it, so he's probably busy dusting off a spot. Everybody took Father's Day with uh, week off. Um, shout out if you listen to this show and you make a podcast, you're probably the cool table as far as I'm concerned. Um, shout out to all the shout out to all the dream wizards. <laughs> Every single one of them. Shout out in to a all, way we're all dream wizards. <laughs> shout out to all the power rangers. <laughs> God damn it. That's going to be the next thing and it's going to be... Uh. Let's, just, let's just say Nerd Ragers and leave it there. Let's just say Nerd Ragers. Um, and uh, uh, shout out to uh, the rest of the, the Nerd Rage team. Draw fan art of a Power Ranger, please. <laughs> yes, the Power Rangers. Just make me into one of the Zords. It's fine. <laughs> uh, Phil on Twitter and on our notes. Uh, Dante on the Facebook. Raul on the Instagram. And then sort of everyone else that works behind us. Esteban on the IG for Force Sensitive. Protect and Esteban. Protect Esteban. At all costs. costs. Est- Esteban went to, uh, <clears throat> went to uh, Disney. Yeah, it's he like got a little porg on his shoulder. Yeah, you see yeah, it? You yeah. see it. It's a protect- <laughs> <laughs> the pork's there to protect him. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Just like yeah, the flamingo protects his uh, collection. There you go. And, uh, and, and Gort as well. I, I need to get up with Gort. I got a couple other ideas for, for to do some more irregular type stuff in that same vein. So I, I'm saying that so when I listen back to this, it's a <laughs> reminder to me. Um, and with that, Flappy Labius. Taste. Tight dick player. <laughs>